I cannot do what you are asking me. Your husband is my boss. Someone who's been feeding me. Someone who's been paying me well. Someone who has practically been taking care of me. I cannot do it. I can betray him as to sleep with his wife. He's someone I respect so much. And as his wife, I respect you as well. Fatalis. Okay. I will take it upon myself. I will make sure I get you a favor from the president. Do you know who my husband is? Yeah. Do you know his connections? Yeah. I will convince him yeah. to give you a better post rather than his mere personal assistant. Please just do this. Please. Madam. Please. You don't need to remind me of what you can do for me. I just want you to know that I cannot do this. Thank you. Excuse me, ma'am. Please, sir, please, please. Please, I swear on my life, I would not do a thing like that. You're, for the women in this world, your wife, boss, I, I wouldn't do it. You're now calling my wife a liar? No, boss, I, I wouldn't say a thing like that. But I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure she mistook me for someone else. For oh, no, don't say that to me, for I do not know you. Your letter is already prepared, signed, delivered. There is no going back on that. This, this job is the reason I left my lecturing job. I've been working with you and you can testify that I've been diligent. I've been doing my work accordingly. I have, I've, 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 please, please, honorable. I didn't do it. I swear with my life, I didn't do it. Please. I mean, what will I tell my father, please? I trusted you with everything. Everything in my house was left under your watch. What did you do? You decided to want to, to take my wife away from me. Do you know what it took me before I could marry that woman? Sir, I swear, I swear, I never went close to your wife. I would do it till I... I've come to the end of this discussion. Please, leave this facility. If I say it again, I will use the security of you. Honestly, this whole thing is strange to me. I can't explain this. It's still very strange to me. I mean, how can Henri will just forget how diligently I have served him and just, just do this to me? I am disappointed in you. Why would you do that? What are you talking about? Why did I do what? I'm telling you that Henri would just sack me. He he asked the security people to shut down my house and confiscate my car and also that I do not come anywhere close to his properties. And you're here to see him? What made you think in your small mind that he wants to see you? I mean, he would even want to see you. You went too far. What is it that you see in that woman that you had to go for her? What? Are you... Are you also... Judging me. This is not about judging you. It's about telling you the gospel truth and that is it. What you did was silly. Why would you have to your boss's wife? I am always here for you and you know it. So what happened? You. You believe that I... I did it. Didn't you do it? Guys, I am telling you, I mean, if perfection was a person, this guy is so perfect. This guy with all these qualities, what's up? What's up with what? <laughs> My princess, I mean, the guy is in her head. Everything about this guy is here. 
Do you know that we don't talk about any other thing except this guy? He's cute, he's handsome, he's the man of my dreams. I mean, please, hear her out. Huh. What? What is what? Well, I mean, the guy is hot. Mm. And I cannot even wait for the day he's going to tell me he loves me. But hold up, hold up. You mean this Prince Charming hasn't said anything to you? Well, you know, people that say sweet things, they don't talk much. But whenever they do, everywhere becomes mesmerized. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and as I'm seeing her, she can do anything just to have this guy. <laughs> I'm telling you. Okay, girls, I really need to um, leave. I just dropped by to say hello. That reminds me. What brought you to our place? Because you were one friend who was on the fridge that friend. See emotional blackmail. Oh, please, I'm not going to buy that. Anyways, I was passing by um, my lawyers and I decided to say hello to you. And when are you guys coming to my to the palace? I haven't seen you guys in a long time. You too. Well, not like we don't like visiting, you know. It's just like your mother. <laughs> Darling, don't worry, you know. Work has been hectic of late. But don't worry, we'll come visit, okay? Okay, no problems. I have to go. I'll mm -hmm. see you soon. Okay. Okay. You have to go. Bye, darling. Bye, darling. I'm going to buy that hair. <laughs> Take care. Bye. What? You wanted to pinch me the living daylight at home. Oh, what were you thinking? Thinking of what? What do you want to tell her? That her mother's nonchalant attitude is beginning to get to us. And that's why we don't visit the palace. Now, what for you? What? I just pray your mouth doesn't put you into trouble. Well, as long as you keep saying the truth. Really? Please, uh, back to the guy. No saying. guy. I have somewhere I need to be. Ah! Stay! transferring the millionaire to your account to do whatever you want to do with it. See when I come back. Of course. What else do you know how to do? What else do you know how to do? If not moving from one meeting to another and sleeping with all your secretaries. What brought about this? What do you mean by the only thing I know how to do? Who told you that I sleep around? Well? Do you know what I am talking about? You know perfectly what I am talking about. Yes! How do you explain the fact that a man will come home every day and will not satisfy his wife? Goes to bed? Wake up in the morning, noticing that the wife isn't happy. Choose to ignore her and walk away. Who does that? Sweetheart, calm down. You know I love you so much. I, I'm ready to do everything for you. Is it about the money? I'll give you money. I mean, I can stand here and watch you unhappy. What is the problem? Of course. You do everything right. But you fell woefully in one place. Can we not just talk about that? At least, not just this any money. Mm. You do not want me to talk about it. You do not want us to discuss about our issues. Yes! Don't get you want me to keep dying in silence? That's what you want? Baby, no, don't twist it. Okay? I've been trying in you know, all many ways that you've introduced. Even the method you called Jig, I've been trying my best, and but it's still you're not okay. And you have never gotten it right. Yes. Honey, I, I need my man to satisfy me. I need my man, my husband, to ride me until I get to the level and be okay. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to look elsewhere? A few minutes late to the office, to the calls. See where I come back. Are you serious right now? I, I don't live in me like this. 
What is it? I mean, how long have you been hiding? I just arrived, sir. Is the car ready? Yes, ma'am. What is it? Which are the meetings of the government? Oh, we are. I don't know what to call I feel you should understand how these things work. I mean, with your level of exposure, you should know that a woman like that should have a man in her life. Oh, of course, of course I know she has a man in her life. But see, from what I know, that man is just wasting her time. The said man is never going to get serious with her. I want you to talk more with her. Convince her to come in to me. See, I promise, I will marry her immediately. Philip, you may never have understand what I did already. We are talking about a lady whose mind is made up. But you can still press her to at least take my cause. I do not bite. I thought you have a relationship going on well for you. What happened? Oh, okay. You abandoned your woman just like that and now pushing towards my friend, right? See. You will surely understand what it means to have a partner you cannot relate with. I mean, someone who is simply impossible. Oh. That is the best way I can describe what I had. Well, right now, you need to start to learn early to forget about Steph. It's not going to work. Why would you talk like that about her? See, I love her so much. And I am certain our union will bear fruit. Oh. Good fruit. What makes you feel so? You see, she is someone who does not pretend about anything. She is blunt and I like her for that. Honestly, with the kind of business I do, she is the perfect woman I need as a wife. <laughs> but unfortunately, this same woman has a man in her life. She's ready to die for this man. In fact, she has sworn to me that it must be him. Now tell me, does it not make sense for me going back to her and talk about the same thing we've already talked about? Does it? Vitalis. I shouldn't be the one to be teaching you on how to conduct yourself when you are in a corporate environment. And that is exactly why I brought you here to, to apologize to you. I, to apologize to you. I'm, I'm sorry. You're sorry? Really? Uh, yes, really, because it wasn't my intention at all. You know, I think um, I'm not really used to alcohol. Each time I take it, I just act stupid. In fact, I acted stupid. It wasn't my intention at all, like I said earlier. Just, I don't know. I just. I'm, I, I, Tell me the truth. Did you not enjoy it? You don't understand. It's not about whether it's enjoyed or not. It's the fact that I did something I am not supposed to do. Please, try to understand. I this is this is important for me. Please, don't don't let it get out. Vitalis, we are too big for this. Too damn big. Yes, we did not plan for what happened, but it happened, right? Let us leave it at that. What on earth got into me? Why did I allow myself into this nonsense? Did I keep myself all these years just to mess up in the end? What will I tell my father? I made him a promise. My goodness. What? gotten myself into. Vitalis, my son, I have confidence in you. I know you will not disappoint me. I'm not advising you because I think you will bring shame to this family. No. I'm only advising you so that you will add more to what you already know. Okay? Yes, yes, Baba. Um... But I promise you one thing. I'll never let you down. I won't disappoint you. I'll go out there. I'll hustle like 
every man. And I'll bring you good news. I'll make it. That's, <laughs> That's my son talking. Oh, make an air. That's Papa. I know you'll make me proud. Yes, but don't always forget what I always tell you since you were a child. Papa. Here we go again. Always Just keep, keep your, your hands clean. clean. Never okay, offend okay, anyone. Uh, avoid avoid women. women. Exactly. <laughs> Remember. Exactly. Remember. Uh, if you do all this, Chuku will bless you abundantly. And be rest assured, I always pray for you. Hmm? It's well with you, my son. Thank you, Baba. Uh, Baba, yeah, you too. Remember what I always tell you. Exactly. Eat, Eat well, well. <laughs> drink, drink well. well. And rest, rest well. well. Yeah, I will never forget that. I <laughs> know, uh, Papa. I'll call you. <laughs> yeah, There's no problem without a solution. Tell me what really happened. Steph and I. Steph and you. <laughs> what was between the both of you? Did you fight? Goodness, Jerry. Sometimes the worst thing I ever do is relate my problems to you. Fight? A woman? We've been friends for how long? Am I capable of fighting a woman? I don't know. Everything is possible. So then, then what happened? I was in the office, minding my business. I didn't talk to anybody. I didn't look for anyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're just beating around the bush. Go to the chest. Tell me what happened, Vitalis. All right. Honorable and I got to the office only to find out that she hasn't prepared minutes of the previous meeting. And then we almost lost the contract. That alone made Honorable very angry. More constructive with your utterance. What's the problem? Do you know the damage your carelessness could have caused? Why can't you do like this? Deliver a simple task. Now listen to your excuses. You were stolen. You were this. Really? Uh, 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 sir, she 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 told uh, she complained uh, um, to me concerning her health challenges and. It was all my fault. I didn't tell you, and I didn't, I didn't remember to tell Nina to assemble the records. Why did you forget a thing like that? Even at that, why did you share right to us? In fact, you are very wrong. If not for one thing, I would have relieved you of your duty and try someone else. Do you know very many people that are looking for jobs elsewhere? There are thousands and one people looking for who to employ them, and yet you, you act at everything on the platter of gold. That you are committing blunders here and there. Now, yeah. get out of my office and don't try that. Out of my office! You do. Get out! Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Um. Please, I was wondering if I could invite you to me, please, would you? <laughs> what did you just say? You are inviting me to your place for dinner. Wow. All right, then. Um, when? Tonight. I wanted to use this medium to say thank you for saving my ass in day. I mean, I would have lost my job. Wait, did you, did you say it tonight? <laughs> well, as for your job, I'm not sure you would have been fired. I mean, you know how our boss does, he just wants to you know, put us in order. But as colleagues, we should also be looking out for each other, you know, be each other's backbone. That's how we keep it going. Huh? 
<laughs> In other words, you are obliging to my offer, right? Come on, I've never asked you for anything before. Um, it doesn't. You're not going to make me look stupid. What happened? To be honest with you, I do not know. I just woke up and realized that I was completely naked with her. That's all I remember. Excuse me, all this panic on your face, all this, you just fidget, it's just because you slept with a woman. Wait, Jerry, I, just hold up a little bit. It's not enough for me to panic. No, everything I told you now is not enough for you, for me to panic. I'm tempted to call you a fool, a very big fool, Vitalis. My friend, take your drink and, and calm your nerves. You I woke up this morning and just saw myself naked. Hey, hear yourself. Let me pour you some drink. Stop behaving like a woman. told me why you are this happy. Did you win a jackpot or you got promoted? Well, let's just say the hard man was begging me. I mean, you don't mean it. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me you succeeded. Why wouldn't I succeed? I mean, we had it right here in the house. Wow. That's hot. I mean, few weeks I'm gone and a lot happened. Well, let's just say the opportunity presented itself. Boom. You are mean. What? I had to take the bull by the hand. Wow. But trust me, I rode that guy. I rode the living daylight out of his top of mine. I gave it to him hot, center, middle, front, mm. and back. Mm. Mm. Trust mm. me. Mm. 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 I mean, this is for the hard guys. Mm -hmm. They should always calm down and know that any woman can have them. Okay. Yes. Okay. What? <laughs> You're a bad girl. Uh-uh. <laughs> I mean, you had this guy here. I said I rode him. You don't understand. He was screaming on top of his voice. I kept giving it to him until he confessed that Jesus is Lord. <laughs> you mean? I deserve an award, don't I? Yes, you do. I deserve an award, you right? You do. And <laughs> I mean, how his face will be right now if I see him at the office. How? His face is just going to be all of us, Steph. You know, it has always been your dream to roll this guy. Yeah. Yeah. And I did. <laughs> I gave it to him, hot hot. Fire for fire. Hey, yes, sir. this guy. Mm. Mm. I'll see him at office. Okay. I'll see his face. Eh? Jesus, boy, you are a bad girl. Jesus. <laughs> so, do you understand? Yes, sir. This one, we go to the Director of uh, Federal Indian Services. And this one, to the manager of Urban Development Authority. Mm -hmm. yes, Each must be to the named authority on or before 11 a.m. Anything after the time is totally out of it. Mm -hmm. So, um, one more important thing. Make available my schedule for two days ago. There is something I need to do. Hmm? All right, sir. All right, do that before we leave uh, for the office. Awesome. Good. What is it? Honey. <laughs> I'm making progress. Yes, I can see that. I told you that I was sexy. You are doing good.
what if after everything, he still didn't return? Should I open up to Ichi and Oze? No. He is going to misunderstand it. What else must I do? What else will you do about it? I instructed you not to make mistakes with the files. I even asked you over and over again if you understood me. How could you deliver to the revenue office the file that you were instructed to deliver to the Urban Development Authority? What do you want me to do about it? Um, um, I, I'm, I'm going to make some calls and then I'll gather the files and file them accordingly. Just shut up! Something that is with the EFCC already. How do you intend to make it right? Where was your mind? Oh my goodness, if I had known, I would have done this thing by myself. Huh? Why should I keep a so-called lecturer as my personal assistant and still see this kind of blood? Honestly, sir, I, I can explain what happened, but Truly sorry, sir. Stop telling me that you are sorry! For I'm not going to buy that useless apology! Why am I keeping you here? Paying you the amount that I pay to you every month, yet you can't do the job the which you were brought in to do. What's the matter with you? I'll, 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 I'll make sure this never repeats itself. Honorable Minister, what is this I'm hearing? yet to say anything. This rubbish I'm hearing, is it true? Chief Mba? Yes. Vitalis has finally finished me. Eh? But, honorable, how could you have made such a stupid mistake by sending him to deliver those documents? I know very well how we maneuvered, juggled, doctored, and doctored figures there. Huh? The worst is that those figures are from the money sent for the construction of roads in my kingdom. Chifamba, yes. I tell you most sincerely that is one of the reasons that I'm disquieted. <sighs> Anyway, uh, I I hope the king is not aware that some money was sent. No, I have not told him. We are planning never to do so. Exactly, that's true. Uh, just let it remain like that, okay? But the EFCC is already on my neck. They're involved in the case as we speak. EFCC? Minister. Why are you worried about the EFCC? Yes. <laughs> you don't need to bother yourself about EFCC. 
Leave them to me. I will handle the FCC. Chief. Eh? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> what would I have done without you? <laughs> oh, Thank you very much. Honorable Minister, you know that in politics, favor is done by right tongue. That's wrong. You grease my palm, I grease your palm. That's wrong. You rub my back, I rub your back. <laughs> you know the business already. Of course. But just be careful. Oh, there will be no next time in the case like this. I trust me. Hey, 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 hey. Yes, come in. Mom, you, you sent for me. Yes, I sent for you. Oh. Where is my husband? Oh, he's in a meeting now. I'll let him know you asked after him. Perhaps after the meeting, he'll join you. Okay. Uh, mm. Excuse me. Please, I need you to help me get something. What? From there. Yeah, what? up there. There's something I need to bring down for you. From there. Yeah. Yeah, right here. Victor. Um, Why well, are you actually thinking that it's something there for you to bring down for me? Um, um, I, I don't seem to understand what you're trying to do. I'm just... Um, okay, okay. Thank you. Please, ma'am. Can I just calm, go? Calm down. Your husband might look for me. I just have to go back to my duty post. See, see, I understand you very well. All right, ma'am. Paul, please. Mm -hmm. I need you to do me this one favor. Okay. Please. Okay, ma'am. My not. husband doesn't satisfy me on bed. I promise to give you anything you want in this life. I promise, please. Oh. Please. Thank you. Sis, you really need to give this guy a chance. I mean, he has tried for you. What are you talking about? No, seriously. What gave him the ghost, the temerity to hit me? But you're okay with it, that's why you could open your legs for him all this while. Are you, in other words, calling me a cheap slum? I never said that. Well, I am no longer interested. You can have him if you want to. Come on, sis. I don't really understand. This guy, what he did to you is nothing. I mean, he did that because he was drunk. He has never done that before. I don't know why you're painting him this way. Really? I do not want to have anything to do with a criminal. I don't. Wait, a common criminal. What is it that you're not telling me? By the way, what does he do for a living? There she goes again. Why is it so hard for you to mind your business? I can't do that because you're not saying anything to me. Well, it will save me a whole lot if you mind your business. Stay away from my businesses. I have so much to do. I care about you, that's why I'm doing this. Well, stop caring about me and care about yourself, please. You're becoming so politically annoying. I cannot do what you are asking me. Your husband is my boss. Someone who's been feeding me. Someone who's been paying me well. Someone who has practically been taking care of me. I cannot do it. I can betray him as to sleep with his wife. He's someone I respect so much. And as his wife, I respect you as well. Vitalis. Vitalis. Okay. I will take it upon myself. I will make sure I get you a favor from the president. Do you know who my husband is? Yeah. You know his connections? Yeah. I will convince him. Yeah. 
to give you a better post rather than his mere personal assistant. Please just do this. Please. Madam. Please. You don't need to remind me of what you can do for me. I just want you to know that I cannot do this. Thank you. Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> what an insult. What an insult! Vitalis. I will make sure you regret this. What are you doing there? Philip or whatever they call you, what are you doing in the house? What is your problem? Do you realize I could call the police and get you arrested at once? The truth is, I am in love. And I am ready to prove in my love. Just give me the chance. It's like you don't get it. Well, I am not interested in whatever plan you have. I am sure Ogi briefed you. Why can't you respect that and give me some space? It's not as if I don't respect that. It's just that I have already given you my heart. Are you alright? Like really? You are giving your heart to a woman who doesn't want to have anything to do with you? Who is not even interested in you? Do not make me say something I'm going to regret, seriously. What I know about love is that it develops, grows, and then it matures. And you are not aware that for something to mature and grow, it has to be planted? That is what I am talking about. Just give me the space to plant my love. And then you see it grow and mature. Sorry to disappoint you. I am not going to let you plant whatever thing you want to plant between us. You know why? It is not going to work. So please, take your tacky work itself out of my house right now. I'll give you time to think over it again and again. I love you. And I am ready to wait. Oh, excuse me. You still have a Yes, I couldn't sleep. Excuse me. You couldn't sleep. What is it? Honey, there's something I, I wanted to tell you. Something you wanted to tell me? Yes. Something that has been eating me up. It's causing me sleepless nights. Excuse me, what? Something that is waiting my wife up and I don't know about it. Oh, come on. So, what is it? Is it that the money I gave to you is not enough? Do you want some more? No, no. Far from that. So what's the problem? It's about your personal assistant. About my personal assistant? Well, what about it? Honey, have you noticed? Noticed about what? Honey, you mean you've not noticed the way he looks at me whenever we are together? He looks at me in a way that is so discomforting. I fear that one day he will rape me. Oh, no, no, no. He will dare no such thing. Is he insane? That's disrespectful. Oh, well, not to worry. I will try to question him tomorrow, okay? I'll make sure that that happens. Honey! Did I hear you say caution? Honey, caution him in something as big as this? Excuse me, isn't that the right thing to do? Especially, you know, someone like him who has been faithful and loyal to me. 
I know him to know that the young man is well disciplined. Oh, I see. The young man is well disciplined. And your wife is a liar. No, no, no. No, 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 no. You called me a liar. That's what you just called me. I'm lying. I'm lying because I'm saying what is, is, is about to happen. Baby. No. Maybe it would be nice one day you come back here and hear that your so called treasured a personal assistant has left your wife and you look at See, see, baby. Mm. I want you to calm down your nerves. Uh, you should expect me to apply some social intelligence. Uh, it's not easy to be in the National Assembly, right? There are things you don't do at this, at this stretch. Oh, but, but oh, it's okay. So what, what do you suggest we do? Fire him. Sack him. That is the best thing to do in this situation. Is that too big for you to do? Fire him. As usual. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh. Honey, um, you remember you promised to send him out of the office today? Yeah, I, I promised. But, uh, I, I, I... But, but why, why the bot? Sweetheart, how. Why do you still think about this? Think about it? Oh, no, no, I'm not thinking about anything. Uh, it's just that I'm trying to figure out why he could do a thing like that. Uh, he's nobody for us to get ourselves worked up of what he is thinking about or what his, his reasons are. No, we need to. Could it be... What is it? I mean, how long have you been handling it? Oh, just all right, sir. Is the car ready? Yes, ma'am. What is it? Which are the meetings are we going to? Oh, we are attending the one for. Could it be what he heard us arguing about? He heard us? What was it he heard us arguing about? Oh, never mind. See you whenever you want. Okay. Alright. Just in case you need to help him, give me a call. He had. No. I need to act fast. I need to act fast before this idiot spoils something for me. And on entity. Feeding from the fortune of my family. Yet. Rejected me like a piece of trash. No. I will teach him a lesson. Please, sir, please, please. Please, I swear on my life, I would not do a thing like that. You're, for the women in this world, your wife, boss, I, I wouldn't do it. You're now calling my wife a liar? No, boss, I, I wouldn't say a thing like that. But I, I, I'm. I'm sure she mistook me for someone else. For oh, no, don't say that to me, for I do not know you. Your letter is already prepared. Signed, delivered. There is no going back on that. Please, 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 please. This, this job is the reason I left my lecturing job. I've been working with you, and you can testify that I've been diligent. I've been doing my work accordingly. I've, 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 uh, please, please, honorable. I didn't do it. I swear with my life, I didn't do it. Please. I mean, what will I tell my father? Please. I trusted you with everything. Everything in my house was left under your watch. What did you do? You decided to want to, to take my wife away from me. Do you know what it took me before I could marry that woman? Sir, 
I swear, I swear, I never went close to your wife. I would do it. Like I've, I've come to the end of this discussion. Please leave this facility. If I say it again, I will use the security. Honestly, this whole thing is strange to me. I can't explain this. It's still very strange to me. I mean, how can Henri will just forget how diligently I have served him and just, just do this to me? I am disappointed in you. Why would you do that? What are you talking about? Why did I do what? I'm telling you that Henri would just sack me. He. He asked the security people to shut down my house and confiscate my car and also that I do not come anywhere close to his properties. And if you're here to see him, what made you think in your small mind that he wants to see you? I mean, he would even want to see you. You went too far. What is it that you see in that woman that you had to go for her? What? Are you... Are you also... Judging me. This is not about judging you. It's about telling you the gospel truth and that is it. What you did was silly. Why would you have to your boss's wife? I am always here for you and you know it. So what happened? You... You believe that I... I did it. Didn't you do it? Women not evil. Those creatures. The same person who has been trying to seduce you is now accusing you of trying to sleep with her. Can you just can you just think about it? Like, how, how, how does he sound? You need to calm down. Okay? Calm down. I will try and see the honorable minister myself and see if there's anything he can do. I personally have tried to see honorable countless times. Sir. He has refused to grant me access. As a matter of fact, he placed a direct warning never to come anywhere close to him. You should know better than me how these politicians behave. I mean, that, that is their attitude, especially when they start seeing someone like a threat to them. They will start behaving funny. So just relax, okay? Lie low. I will try and see him myself at least. Hopefully, he will do something. Oh, please, Jerry. Please. If you do this for me, honestly, I'd, I'd really appreciate it. Please, friend. Please. <laughs> you don't need to appreciate me. You don't need to thank me. Come on, guy. We are friends. We're crying out loud. We have been through a lot together. This is the least I can do for you. So just relax, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll see him. And um, please, uh, let me just make a call. Please, uh, food order. Let's eat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no. Food is the least of my worries now. You need to eat food, man. Now oh, relax, you need to eat food. Okay, you need to eat food. The great Iroko has fallen. Ijeanu, there's something huge has befallen us. Where do we go from here? Okay? It's just that we cannot question the gods. If not, they would have been forced to bring him back to life. Some people don't deserve to die. Exactly. Hi. Exactly. He, you know, he was a great man. He was... A great king who ruled with milk of human sympathy. Exactly. He's not supposed to die. Uh, oh no. Good morning, sir. Iche, good morning, sir. Good morning, my dear. How are you? I'm fine. Um, I'm Iche, I'm just coming from the house. I didn't find the key where you used to keep it. Oh, I, I left in a hurry. I forgot to keep it for you. Here is the key, my dear. Oh, thank you. Uh, oh no. Thank you, sir. Good. I don't understand. Who is the young woman and uh, 
what business do you have with her to the extent of giving her the key to your house? Could you see that again? She's the one that has been helping me with her chores. And she doesn't ask money from me. Really? Exactly. Just for her chores? Yes. That means she's a very good girl. And um, girls like that, um, they are not many exactly. these days. Exactly. Yes, you are correct. And any time we see somebody with such noble character, we should keep that person. That would be very good to me. Oh, what is this show? I am sure. I don't know. I don't know. Where are the documents your father sent you to collect from the lawyer? Mother, how can you be talking about documents? I just, I just lost my father. Your husband, my father, the king, just passed away. Are you, you're talking about documents? Are you to tell me what to do? Was the king married to you? Mother, how can you say that? I am your daughter. How can I be dragging the... the your position as my father's wife. Why? I will get the documents to you. But for now, I mean, we are faced with the reality. Father just died. Why are you provoking me, Asongeni? Am I the one you are admonishing? No, mother, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I, I mean, no disrespect. All I'm saying is that Father just died. I will get the documents to you as soon as possible, but not now. You better hand over those documents to me. Oh, mother, please. Please. I am your daughter. Why are you behaving as though we are fighting over documents, mother? I mean, I am your daughter, like I said. Not your rival. Father just died. And all you're interested in is the documents, mother. I won't remind you of those documents again. How could you even keep those documents without my consent? Do not provoke me. My father just died. And all my mother is interested in is documents. I am not going to blame you for sacking the twelve day. As a matter of fact, you did the best thing. Well, I don't even need validation from anyone. Vitalis was the person I sacked originally. Then, Jerry came in, making a case for him boldly, defending his colleague in a way that made me feel that he is a partner in crime. Then I have no option then to equally sack him. I understand the feeling exactly, my honorable minister. And you are a man who is lucky enough to have been blessed by God Almighty with a very beautiful wife. You can say that again. <laughs> so you've just done the best thing by protecting her from hawks. That's the word. Hawks. But I thank God that my wife opened up. Exactly my point. If not, you will be back home one day to discover that your wife has been raped. Oh no, don't go there, Chief. Please. Let's forget about those never do wells and talk about the business that brought you to my office today. You know, okay, there is something about this woman that I do not, that I do not like. Okay. Ever since she became close to Mr. President, I mean, she feels like the whole world is under her feet. Is that woman supposed to be the issue here? She only felt threatened and reported to her husband, which is the right thing to do. The husband acted and fired the young man. He is to protect the wife, remember. 
You know, with all these things you're just saying right now, it makes me believe that you do not even know the woman I am talking about. You don't. How do you mean? That woman is lying. She is lying against my man. I can feel it. I don't understand. Who do you call your man? Are you kidding me right now? Listen, I could feel it. I mean, it was all over his face. He wanted to say something to me, but because I was angry, I didn't give him the opportunity to say anything to me. But trust me, everything is registering in my head right now. Does it mean you are sick or something? She don't come into my house to insult me. I am not insulting you, Steph. I am telling you the truth. I mean, how could you possibly all of a sudden start feeling something for your co-worker? Come on, that's insane. You know what? It is very clear to me that you're not even listening. I mean, you've not been listening to me. Just pick up your stuff and just leave my house and do not tell my number again. Okay, before then, let me ask you this. Is he the one you have been dying for? Nina, are you aware that the one Steph has been dying for is the one that works in the same office with her? You are talking as if there is anything wrong with that. I mean, it's not today that people started dating their co-workers. Nina, you are going to disappoint me if you're thinking in this direction. How do you mean? Because I hold you in high esteem. And I will be disappointed if you can confirm to me that you can actually date a guy that works in the same office with you. Okay. You speak as a relationship expert and still, you are not even in any relationship at all. Listen, Steph is the focus here. Stop diverting attention to me. Steph cannot be the focus because she has never doubled into anyone's affair before. Okay, you constantly make Steph the topic. And baby girl, that's not good at all. Um, really? <laughs> so this is the impression you have about me? It is not an impression. It is what it is. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. Do you know Philip is in charge? of the construction of the new market layout. Nina, that guy is in money. And she said she's not interested in your money man. Would you respect that? I know you can never understand this. Never. Please, I am out of here. Thank you, guys. Remember, she said, it's my number. Oh, my princess. I'm so sorry for your loss, okay? I know what you are passing through because I've been there. I'm so sorry. My father left me to this cruel world. No, he didn't. I mean, you're not alone. We are here for you. I don't get it. Why am I getting bad news recently? I mean, what is going on? First of all, my boyfriend lost his job. I mean, he got fired. And now your father is dead. What is going on? Honestly, Steph, you really need to take it easy on yourself. You and this guy are not even dating. Yeah, but I'm hoping that something is going to bring us together. By forcing yourself on him. By opening your legs for him. Watch your mouth, else I'll help you watch it. Enough, both of you, please. I came here to, to, to think straight. I mean, my mother is making the palace unbearable for me, and now the both of you want to start another round? I need to understand something. Why does your mother always treat you like you're not her child? I mean, the attitude is so glaring and so obvious that anyone can see it. I've heard everything you said. 
And uh, I don't have any reason to doubt you because I know the child I raised. I believe you. I know you didn't do it. Thank you very much, Papa. Thank you for your kind words. Honestly, I don't know what, what I would have done if you doubted me. I would have done that if I didn't know the child I raised. I raised you well. From the moment I lost your mother to the child birth. I hate women. I would never, ever. No, 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 no. Vitalis, I will not allow you to complete that sentence. I will not. Women, not all women are bad. And no decent mind will condemn all women because of the action of few. That's because you don't understand. Let's just say you've been lucky. I haven't. The few women I've had something to do with, it all ends up with disaster. I understand your pain, my son. I understand. But to be a man, you must raise your own family. You must get married someday. So it is your responsibility to find a good woman out there. Let me remind you this. This is a quote I read and reading in primary school many years ago from Pinocchio and Talking Cricket. It says, if you try, you don't succeed. Try again. If only you will persevere. You will conquer, never fear. Try, try, try again. Okay? You'll find a good woman. Don't be discouraged. I'm going to the palace. The chief priest invited us for a meeting. I will be back. Hmm? Okay. Like I said, and I will repeat it. I am only a representative, a messenger, a mediator of the supreme deity of this land, the great Udo. And I do and say only those things Udo has instructed me to do or say. Well, um, Obefa Kigwe, it's Udo. Uh, don't feel so angry with us for inviting you here. We actually brought you because we needed to hear from you as the mouthpiece of Udo. We need to know because so many people are already calling for the emergence of a new king. And we want to hear what are the gods of our land? What are they saying in this subject? Is it possible for a new king to imagine, huh? Oh no, I am not here to listen to what the gods will say. That is because uh, I already know what they are saying. Huh? Uh, professor, you already know what the gods are saying in the presence of chief priests of this kingdom and the world of this kingdom. Are you okay? Ichi Anose, I am okay. I am a learned man to know that some things are just mere fallacies. I have checked and I know I'm the right man for the throne. Well, elders in council, I am done with this meeting. So long as I have delivered, clearly delivered the message from the gods. Oh no, I'm okay. The man who decides not to say anything already agreed to what was said. Professor Kunga, what is your problem? Oh no, I do not have problem in my individual capacity. We only have problem of vacuum in leadership. And I've solved it by making myself available. That is my own problem. My own problem is that I don't know what your problem is. Why do you speak so highly of yourself all the time? Why? Oh no, well, that is the power of education. It enlightens you. It makes you understand things. It makes you to know, I mean, being able to check lies. Yes. And maybe it also makes you to disrespect the tradition of your people, their way of life. Maybe that's what education does to you. Why are we even wasting time at all in all this? Why? By now, we ought to have crowned a new king. Must we wait for the gods to speak in everything? No, I don't think so. We are many council. 
There are times we need to take authority and act fast because we are the men council. Hey, 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 is she a bad? Yes. Listen, if a man like you does not know the right thing to say in a meeting such as this, then that man is advised to keep quiet and be an obedient observer. How can you say something like this? And you call yourself an Ichie? Oh, yes. Listen to me, we are not going to crown anybody. For any king to emerge in Akama, that king must come through the process of Udo. We must wait and hear the words of Udo before we do anything. Oh no, I agree with you. I agree with you 100%. We will not disrespect our tradition just because of, so some people feel they went to school. Yeah, 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 Professor Wook, I am very disappointed in you. Very, very disappointed in you. How can you be doing something like this? And you are telling me that you, you, you went to school? We just buried our king. As far as I'm concerned, his soul has departed. But we are not so sure because we have not consulted the gods to, to, to know that he that same soul has reincarnated for us to begin to discuss succession as a people. And you are here telling me that you have made yourself available to be the new king because you went to school? What kind of nonsense is that? Listen, nobody is going to be crowned king. We must have to wait for Udo to tell us the person that we are going to crown. Ono, oh, you are encoding a lot of fallacies, and I am not wired for all this. Professor, you better not be wired or wired for all those. You better don't incur the wrath of the gods. Ask questions. People that dare the gods, how they ended. Ask. They never ended well. No, they never ended well. People that believe they have gone to school, and therefore they see our tradition as nonsense. When the tradition will rise, Van Ramuma, what is really happening? Does it mean they want to take the throne from my family? Yes, I have no son. But the tradition states that any man who marries my daughter can be adopted into royalty as a prince and he can become king. Why are they not talking about that? I will fight for what rightly belongs to me. I will fight and I will fight to finish. Why are you looking at me like that? As if you don't know me. It's unfair. Oh, Jerry, please don't sound as if you don't know why I'm looking at you like that. You said you will kill me for making you lose your job. And you think I'm going to do that? <laughs> Come on, Vitalis. How can I possibly kill my friend? You're my friend, for crying out loud. Uh, I have come to apologize for what happened. I lost it then and I ended up saying despicable things I'm not supposed to say to you. Say frustration is not good. I was frustrated because that job was my hope. But I realized that it was wrong me saying all those things I said to you. So please, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Oh, Jerry, please. I understand. On the other hand, I'm the one who is supposed to should be the one apologizing to you for making you lose your job. It wasn't my intention at all. False allegation from a woman forcefully brought us back home. I mean, to the village, to be specific. It's okay. At least we can enjoy the serenity of our new environment and think right for a comeback for real. Jero, I, I'm really sorry for putting you in this mess. It wasn't my intention at all. It's okay. You don't need to be sorry. It's not your mess alone. It's also my mess, because if it was not meant to 
be my mess, I wouldn't have been involved in the first place. So let's ferry the boat across the sea together. Ferry the boat across the sea together. Scott. You see, uh, Jeru, uh, you're just, you're just a different person, you know that, right? Aside the fact that you're strong-headed, I still think you're one of the best God ever created. Mm -hmm. I see who has become the Lord trying to flatter me. <laughs> Let's go in and drink something strong, my friend. Oh, before we drink in something strong, rule number one. Okay. There must be food. Secondly, as you can see, we're back to the village. We might not have the luxury of booking food online. So what next? And see who is talking as if we still have villages. See, my friend? Just one phone call and they will serve us with pounded yam and offense salad. Pounded yam and offense salad. <laughs> what are we waiting for? <laughs> Let's go inside there. <laughs> Let me take the sweets. Mm? Mm? Mm. Oh, I like the part of the meat. The meat is bigger. Mm -mm. Don't come close to my meat. Mm. Please, now. Nah. Ah, ah, what's wrong with you? Will you shut up? Shut that mouth. Return that meat to her. She has her. I don't care. All I want is for you to return the meat to your elder sister. Oh no, mom. I have mine. I can't even finish this one I have here. We are only joking. You are not trying at all. Yes. Mother. Calm down, okay? Come on, let's eat. I'll talk to her later, right? Eat now. It's fine, don't worry. I guess she's not in a good mood. Hmm? Nachos. <laughs> mm. Go see a doctor. You have been like this for almost a week now. I'll be fine. You can't really be fine. I mean, you have refused to go see a doctor. There are some conditions that are superior to self medication. Here you go again. I'll be fine. It's not something serious. Really? And you have been throwing up all morning, and you're running temperature too. Since there are some conditions that are superior to self medication. Please, you know, again without English. I just can't hear. Nina, you're over stressing yourself. Thank God you know I'm over stressing myself. Please, you need to get yourself checked. Please. Or is there something you are not telling me? Something like what? I don't know. I mean, I don't understand why you have refused to go see a doctor all this while. Please, you need to check yourself. Yeah, fine. I'll, I'll go see a doctor. Are you better now? Better. <sighs> because I don't want to lose you. Okay? I mean, I can't go through that pain of losing someone I love. No, you're mad. I'm not mad. Seriously, you need to go and see a doctor. Like now. I will. I really said I was going to go see a doctor. I know you said so, but we oh. just have to do that now. Please, please. 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 Oh, God. Please. Please. 
you down. It's okay, wait, wait. Even your body is hot. See, see, see. I don't like this, please. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. What is this stress on your face? It's obvious this girl doesn't want you. She only wanted to have you and she, and she has left you. No, Jerry, that's not true. I'm the one who offended this girl. Otherwise, she would have helped us convince the Honorable Minister, but she did not. She's angry with me because of the allegation levied against me. <laughs> My friend, leave that thing. Leave that thing. See? Believe me when I tell you, she doesn't want you. She has already gotten what she wanted from you. The earlier you know about this, the better for you, Vitalis. Yes. She's not picking. I've been calling her several. She's not picking. How am I going to know if she's forgiving me? You see, the way you're going about this whole thing will make her get you the more. Who doesn't know about that girl in that office? Who? What kind of girl is she at the office? You're really asking me that question. Hmm? So you may really don't know who Steph is in that office. The kind of girl she is in that office, you don't know. Okay? If you really don't know, it's all right. I urge you to keep chasing shadows, if that is what you want to do. Continue. You want to know the truth, Jerry? You're not making sense. Really? I'm not making sense. Not even for once. This is unbelievable. You are pregnant after a one night stand with him. Why will you even let him in when you know you weren't safe? I don't know. I'm just confused, seriously. I don't know. This is a big mess for you. I mean, right now in this era, STDs is flying right, left, and center. You would allow a man into you without using protection. Can you just come down and let me think? Is that possible? Please. Fine. He's the man of your dreams. You said you love him, so we can set machinery in motion and take it to another level. Where are you even getting all those things from? Man of my dreams. I don't understand. Why are you changing everything? You were the one that said he's the man of your dreams, that you love him. Someone you have been dying for. Someone who is jobless. One who cannot even take care of a child and I. Really? That's what you wish for me? Really? Steph, really? So all this is because he lost his job. Really? Can you just keep quiet and let me think who the father of my child is? Please. I don't understand. The father of your child? Steph, so... You don't even know who the father of the innocent child is. Oh, Steph, you're so classless. Enough! One more word, I mean, one more insultive word from you, I would give you a hot slap that will reset your double mind. I don't want my people to know about the money. 
Good enough, you are aware that my former king had no knowledge of the money. So I don't want my people to start seeing me as a bad person. Why are you so afraid of this your so-called people? What can they do? When you are dealing with men and women who still believe in their gods and ancestors and are actually consulting them in all they do, you have to be very, very careful. I don't understand. You mean they still do that in this kind of language? That is what we have in our kingdom, minister. So whatever we need to do, let us do it fast because I don't want my name and my image to be dragged in the mud. Well, Chief, there's no need to worry. Once the coast is clear, I will sign the document for the money. <laughs> my minister, <laughs> I trust you. <laughs> The office now. And I was told you instructed them not to let me into that office. That was a specific instruction you have to know. Do you still have a problem with that? Mom, how can you do that? Why? What did I do? The man in question was my husband. Do you still have a problem that I gave orders in my company? Mother, I have told you countless times that I do not have... I, I am not dragging anything with you. Yes, you have the right as the queen and, and my father's wife. I also have my own right as the daughter. So that's, I just want you to give me my right as the daughter too. Really? Well, if you don't have anything to say, just leave my presence. This is not fair. This is not fair. By the time I'm done with you, you will not be able to define which is right or wrong. I don't know for you, but I'm not going to do that kind of job. I can't even say that. That me, Jerry, the son of the soil. I mean, don't you hear how that name sounds? I mean, anybody that bears that name, Jerry, they only do sweet things. Jerry, just like strawberry, you know? I mean, me, working in the block industry, that's not happening. I honestly do not understand you, Jerry Strawberry. This is the third job I am getting for us. And yet, if you do not complain that it is low profile, it is dirty, it is not up to your status. Now, which status are you talking about here? <laughs> okay. I'm aware that you know that I've built a status for myself. A high one at that. All right. Tell me, how has your status helped you here? How has it helped you to get a decent job, a qualified job, a job that befits, that suits your status? Now tell me, do you realize that I am a lecturer? Part-time, part-time lecturer, don't forget to add that. It still doesn't matter. The fact remains, the record is that I was a lecturer. But here I am, humble willing to work as a sales manager in the black industry and yet I am not complaining. And here you are, complaining, talking about status. You keep banking on this long lost glory. I, I have not lost my glory. My glory is still intact. I don't know, I can, come on guy, hear me out. How do you expect me? to stoop so low by working in the block industry. A man that has once worked with the Minister of Works. Come on. Oh, mommy, I can't do that. No, no, I 
can do that. You, you, you can, you can go, go on and walk. Not for me. I can go on and walk. Jerry. Blackberry. Bullberry. Strawberry. <laughs> when the time is right, hunger will humble you. Until then, we'll see to that. But for now, I'm not doing that kind of work. Come on. Is this possibly the reason you called me out here? Is she a To tell me you have decided to make Professor Okunka in the next king? Ask who? No, no, why will you name him the next king of Akama? Uh, sentiments apart, my revered Onowu. See, if we make Prof the king of Akama, uh, you and I, uh, we start to gain a lot. We benefit so much. Really? Yes. I will make sure you retain your position as you know, with other benefits that I will attach to it. You see, eh? Professor Kunka, you are a man I hold in high esteem. I have respected you all these years because of your achievement, because of your track record. I, I say this thing for you to understand that I hold nothing against you as a person. Uh, but you see, this this process that both of you are initiating, this evil, I am not going to be a part of it. Oh, no, no, no. Mm -mm. We are talking about development here. Why call it evil? And why in this world will men who are men of our karma suddenly forget the ways of our ancestors as it concerns how kings imagine our karma? Why are you bringing in something that is very different into the system? I don't understand. Why can't we just wait and do the next fall? Why? Oh no, oh no, you're talking about the needful. For how long do we have to wait for the needful? Listen, the king is dead. And by now we should be having a new king. We wasted the periods our late king ruled. Of course, you know, he didn't bring any development to our common. So a progressive man like you should support development. Except if there's anything you're not telling us. Something like what? Maybe something between you and the chief priest. Hey. You know I said it already that I respect you. Don't make me lose it. It, it. it is very clear that you have lost your sense of reasoning. Please, Professor, don't talk to me in this one again. Please. Uh, 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 no, it is all right. Hmm? It is all right. But, uh, you see, oh, no. Listen. I will advise we act fast. We hold on to someone like him. Someone who can bring in our own share of our own share of, of development from the government. So your concern why you are doing this is because of your own share. Including you too. You see, eh? I am done with this rule side meeting. You okay? If both of you will decide on your own. To do the right thing. Go ahead and do it. But let this be the very last time anybody will call me for this. If you feel that what I am doing is not in order, you may proceed and go to Ubuifi Akiwe. He is the one that will flog you both back into life. Not me. But the mother of the The issue of royalty in Akama is a serious one. Therefore, it does not come so easy. Hmm? But don't let this discourage you at all. Okay? Ichumba, hmm? I am not bothered at all. You should know me by now. Exactly. When I set my mind to do something, I hardly look back. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> and that's what exactly makes a man. Trust me. You see, the real man is not the physical size. 
but what is containing him? <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Shall we go? I'm Let's go. go. Yeah. All right. We go? Oh, all right. Thank you very much. Ogunamba, Ogunamba, yeah. Everybody want a test of power. Ogunamba, oh, Listen, in case you're going out. Leave the key at the usual place. The girl that used to come and help us sweep the compass, she will be coming. Okay. Yes. All right, Papa, there's no problem. Um, Papa, I've been meaning to ask you. This girl who comes around to clean up our compound, she must be a good girl. A very good girl. I can say that again. Not only sweeping, sometimes she helps me in the house chores too. Oh, yes. Um, in that case, when next she comes, I'll have a way of telling her thank you. Oh, that would be very nice. I know you have a heart of good. Her name is Choma. All right, then. Uh, I'll be on my way now. Okay. All okay. right. Take it easy. Uh, all. Good morning, Mama. What is good about the morning? Don't you have anything else doing aside from eating? This is breakfast. Break which fast? What did you do that you're breaking your fast? I said it. I don't even know what to say to you. Mother, what is it? I heard you shouting. Hope all is well. What's going on me? Nothing. And your face is this dull? Can you talk to me, please? Let me see you, if anyhow, again in this house. Then I will remind you it's money I use in getting all of it. Mother. Nonsense. Don't tell me it's because of food that you're shouting. No, don't worry. I'll be right back. Mother! Mother! Honestly, you're going too far. Mother, you shouldn't have treated your old daughter in that manner. She's your daughter for crying out loud. Will you shut up? What do you know? How dare you tell me how to train my child? Oh, mother, to tell you the truth, this one you're doing now is no longer training but bullying. I mean, you're being too harsh on her. Remember, she's my kid sister. And whatever hurts her hurts me. I wouldn't want her to start feeling any indifference, mother. I see. So I'm now the bad egg here, right? For trying to make life better for you. Oh, please. Make it better for us both. We are your children. You get back to us. We both escaped from this womb, mother. Are you equally going to challenge my others? No, no, mother. You know I cannot do such a thing. I'm only asking you to be more considerate in handling your own daughter. She's not our slave, but our blood. You know what? I want to be left alone. Mom, you... I said get out! Get out! Immediately, get out. I don't want to repeat myself. No. I said I don't want you to leave myself. Come on, get out. So you're only leave. Leave. Of your presence, right? Yes. Do you want me to help you do it? Come down the room. Leave. Okay. No, just have... think about this. I'm let me not. Let me not get you. I said leave. Don't talk again. Get out from that place. Fool. Look at her. She has the guts to talk to me.
Why did you call me out here? Shh, lower your voice. Who do you say that girl is? What kind of question is that? Can't you see what she's doing? This is exactly what brings her here. I'm not asking what she's doing. I'm asking who is that girl? Well, she's one girl that comes to help my father with the house chores and then sweep the compound. Are you satisfied now? <sighs> For real. She must really be a good girl. Indeed. Yeah, a good girl indeed. If I tell you now, you will say I'm beginning to say something again. Jerry, I was busy with my phone. What do you have to say? Can't you see that what she's doing is not really what she's doing? She's just using that as a plot to get to you. That's a strategy. She wants to get to you. It's you that she wants. Can you listen to yourself at all? Can you listen to yourself, Jerry? She's been doing this thing long before we came back to this village. Is this why you pulled me out? It's enough reason to pull you out to talk to you. No, Jerry. You know what I think? What? You are beginning to sound like a gossip. Learn to mind your business. You're true, you're Learn to, to mind your business. just came, you should have stayed a little longer. Oh, <laughs> it's not in my nature to waste time. But I'll be back tomorrow again. If you, say, if you say so. Oh, bye-bye. All right, dear. Bye. Such a beautiful girl. Yeah. She's really beautiful. But why is she doing this? There is a reason for this, her kind gestures. I'm Jerry. I will definitely find out. I got the two million naira you sent to my account. And I have two questions for you. Where did you get my account details from and why did you send the money? To get the details of your account was not difficult. Was it Oge that gave it to you? Don't put blame on Oge. In fact, I've not seen her for weeks now. Then why did you send the money? I mean, why is it so hard for you to understand that I'm not available for whatever you want us to do together? Why can't you respect that? I sent money to you because I gathered you were not feeling fine. I just want you to see a specialist. I love you so much. I want you to always feel good. Let me break it down for you now. I am not just sick. I am pregnant. What? How? <laughs> I do not owe you any explanation. I am pregnant for another man. Now you have to understand that this can never work. I... Please, send me your account details so I can refund you. There will be no need for that. You can't keep the money.
What's wrong with you? I'm sorry. What's wrong with you? You want to finish our small life with your useless car? What kind of driving was that? Calm down. I'm sorry. I didn't. I, I didn't see you. But uh, will you shut up your mouth? Do you want to run us over? Are you? Are you? Are you mad? Kind of driver are you to, to, to negotiate a bend with this such a terrible speed? Right. How am I sure you even have a driver's license? I have my driver's license. I'm sorry. Okay. You're sorry. Yeah. Vitalis, I'm out of here. Yo, 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 what, yo, what, what, what's nonsense? Hi, hi, hi. I'm Azongini, princess. Hi. So, what are you going to do with the man? I don't know. You know, August said this guy is swimming in money. And I think I'm beginning to believe it. Okay, so because he wired two million into your account, you are beginning to believe it. Do you think it's easy for someone to transfer such amount of money to I mean to a lady you've not done anything with? Only few men can do that. Well, if you ask me, I think the guy is more presentable than that Alanda Lovey guy. And since when did you start telling me what is good for me and what is not good for me? Are you sick in the head? You have a problem here and we are trying to solve it. I do not have a problem. As a matter of fact, you are the one who has an issue here. The guy sent some money to me and I asked him for his account details to refund him and he refused. I am not talking about the money. I am talking about your pregnancy. Yes, I'm coming. Okay. Welcome. So, is this true? So, you are actually pregnant. This is highly unexpected of a lady of your class. How can you just get pregnant like that? Let me just shut up your mouth. Shut up! How dare you? Look at who is talking. Coming from you who commit several abortions all in the name of deceiving people. Are you insulting me because you insulted yourself by coming to my house to, to, I mean, to tell me what to do with my pregnancy? If I am pregnant or not, what is your business? I mean, the one carrying the pregnancy is better than the ones who are bought every six months. Oh, uh, really? Really. So this is all you have to say? Oh, please. Take yourself out of my house. What rubbish? Everybody wanted a test of power. Ogunamba, Achunu Anike. Who the cup of it to make him wear a This is the puzzle of the gods. This is the wrestle of the spirit. Who is the chosen one? You cannot buy it with money. Ogunamba. Ogunamba. Everybody wanted a test of power. Ogunamba. Achunu Anike. Who the cap of it to make him wear a Ogunamba. Ogunamba. Everybody wanted a test of power. Ogunamba. Achunu Anike. Who the cap of it to make him wear a Giri giri giri. Kaina funo bodo. Pride and greed has taken our hearts. Oh. We have forgotten the culture of our land, the gods of our land. They can never, never change. Hallelujah. Ogunamba, Ogunamba. 
Everybody want a test of power. Ogunambas. It's just too much money that's even making this man trying to change this, this game. Nothing is wrong with this gate. Money is good. Money is really, really good. Everybody want a test of power. My friend, I am so happy of yourself too. Do you know, I never knew the plan to work. You see, the others who have been going to do has chores for his father, hoping that someday the father will tell him about me. I am so happy. I am finally going to get married. It has finally worked. I'm so happy. And it worked so well, oh. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. It's like I will join you in this your style. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, so that reminds me. I've been meaning to tell you about this his friend. You will know him. His name is Jerry. Alpha. Human be Jerry. Yes, ma'am. No, 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 no. People with such name. No. People with such name, they usually break people's hearts. No! I bet you. This one is different. It also womanized. In fact, he's from Akama, from one of the villages down south. You will like him. He's good looking. Oh, but I didn't. Wow. Okay, what we'll change him. <laughs> Are you sure? Uh, uh, I am sure now. I usually see him whenever I go to Sumi compound. Apart from good looking, he equally knows how to respect a woman. He's so cool. You will like him. It's okay. Okay. So, okay. How do we go about it now? You know, I've not done this kind of thing before. And uh, I don't know how to throw myself at length. Listen, mm -hmm. what kind of language is that? Mm -hmm. Who is advising you to go and throw yourself on any man? Tell me, let me give you updates. Mm -hmm. All you need to do is when you get there, I'm not just, you be there, you be sweeping, you know, you bend your buttocks and be doing it like this. You wind it, you wind it, you wind it. You wind it. <laughs> Now I know why I accepted to do this job with this ridiculous amount. So my chi really wanted me to hear this. Ha! Vitalis. I am sure it is not what I'm thinking. No, I don't know what you are thinking. But you know I respect you so much. Since my husband died, that girl has been trying to take over everything. Yeah, but she always had access to the family business. Uh, do you feel it is right to deny her that access now? Oye is her older sister. She should be the one in charge of everything. Yes, Oye is... Um the elder sister uh, but she is not the one who has the right to choose the next king of Akama. Hmm, what do you mean don't sit down here and pretend that you don't know what i am talking about because i know you know exactly what i am saying uh, but there is no cause for alarm let us keep waiting for udo to direct us on how and when the king of Akama will come oh, no i don't know what you feel that made you say what you said but bear in mind that nobody will take away my daughter's rights from her. Both of them are your daughters. Both of them are your children. Are you not supposed to be careful with whatever thing you are doing? Nobody should take away my daughter's rights, not now that I'm still alive. Well, I am insisting that we have to be very careful with what we do. Let us keep waiting for Udo to direct us on how the next king or when the next king will come. 
it is not for us to dabble into that. I shall take my leave now. <laughs> I will deal with this girl. How dare you? How dare you report me to the unknown? Don't you have respect? Who do you think you are? I just spoke to you so that you may not be talked to you at all. Now get out! Get out of this palace! Oh no more. Don't say that. Where do you want her to go? She can go to anywhere she likes for all I care. I don't want to see her anywhere near this palace. Mom, stop! Get out! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Whatever I must have done to you, I'm sorry. <laughs> Tell her to leave! Mom, stop. She's pleading. Whatever she has done, please forgive her. I mean, she's your daughter for crying out loud and not your slave. Stop treating her this she way. She's not my daughter. She's not behaving like a daughter. No, mother. Don't say that. Please. Temper justice with mercy, mother. She's your daughter. Don't send her away, please. Oh, don't send her away. What do you say that your name is again? My name is Izzy. Why are you embarrassing me? Why are you behaving as if you don't know me? I can't remember having anything to do with you. And why did you come to my house acting as if we have been friends for a while now? We have not been friends, but is there anything wrong in us becoming friends? You see, I, I have the strong feeling that she has initiated you into her stupid game. What did you hope to gain? Who do you refer to? She, of course. Who else? She. And listen to me. I will advise you desist from her because as we speak, she has been unmasked. Is it possible for you to stay calm? You're yelling. Why are you shouting? You just, you're talking to me alone. So can you just calm down and then make me understand why you're yelling? It's just me here. Vitalis, I warned you about those girls, but you will not listen. Wait a minute. This, this whole yelling, screaming is all about the girls? What is the matter with you? Hey, 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 hey. Don't try to turn around, okay? Don't try to spin around back to me. It's not me that is the problem, it's you. But you know what? I want you to deal with both of them. I'm not ready to receive another visitor in my place. Please, deal with them. You know what? What? Aside the fact that you're not making sense, you're just making noise. Did they come to your house? Okay. You know what? You will soon discover their plans. I'm not the one who will tell you anything. You know, the death that ultimately killed the dog started by preventing that dog from having the sense of smell. I warned you both before that you should desist from this thing you are doing. Didn't I? Oh no, you cannot stop us. You cannot stop. What do you even mean? Eh? What do you mean? We have so much waited for the ghost to speak and they refuse to speak. We are lagging behind the scheme of things. We need a new king and the people of Akam have chosen one. Did you not say that the voice of the people is the voice of God? Yes. With all due respect, what you are about doing is wrong. I mean, the gods have not said that the throne will leave my house. The heir apparent to the throne is my daughter. You do not have a son, woman. Your daughter, no matter how successful she has become in life, will never rule as king. And even the women of Akama will revolt against the men in council if they get to hear that the person being proposed is a woman. We have a king in waiting and we are crowning him today. Yes. Why are you digging your own grave? Why are you in a hurry to leave this planet? Why? 
what you are about to do is an abomination. And the people of this kingdom, they are not even aware of what you want to do. You are just using your power to oppress others. Why? The people of Akama, yes, might not be aware of what we are, we are about to do today, but they are aware that we need a king. The only thing that we are crowning him today and the, 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 the news can break to them that we are crowning a new king. Hmm. Ajani, Ajani should be my witness. Holding on to Ajani and looking up onto the sun, the highest light to planet Earth. I am saying this day that my family and all the good people of Akama are exempted from this abomination that is about to take place today. Oh no, don't intimidate anybody with that nonsensical show. Since you have refused to perform your duty as the you know of this kingdom by handing your fork to the king in waiting, I will do so personally. This is your fork, Akama. We brought it out like you insisted. So you can take it now and then. Uh, Give it to the person you believe is qualified to be the custodian of the offer. Go ahead. Manokwana Kali Chichamun and Dibemo. Akain Obani Adiria. You are the rightful king. Pick it up. And I will declare you the king of Akama. You shall be called Professor He Okunka, the Ezenka of Akama. Pick it up. It is your right. I like the title of the president. Apart from Ezenka of Akama, I equally want you to make me the custodian of the offer. You can look at that. Can you get that? Epic it up. Yes. <laughs> No one touches the caps. No one touches the caps. His remains will be taken away by uninitiated young men. Immediately, get it buried and forgotten immediately. No one mourns him. No one mourns him. Whoever that mourns him triggers the wrath of the gods. Triggers the wrath of the gods. Ogwefi, oh, oh, please. Please, forgive me. Don't, don't kill me, please. I don't want to die. Ogwefi, please. Ogwefi, die! Please. Where him can you go? Ogwefi, please. Ogwefi, please. Mortals should stop there in the cause. A king must emerge in a Kama kingdom that is in accordance with the dictates of the gods. That is at the appointed time. Mortals should stop there in the gods. No mortal dictates for the gods. No mortal dares the gods and leaves the third story. Udo, Ejimo, Fudo, Jejemba, Ejimo, Fonye, Kotobu, 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 Ejimo, Everybody wanted to test the power. Oh, Gunamba. As the princess. Asu. 
it's not the same girl that almost finished our life that day with her car. What's my business if she's the one? Can't you see she's crying? It's true. She's really crying. Mm -hmm. So next time you have to watch well before you judge. When your man a judge. Are you sure she's okay? It's one that she's crying. Jerry, a princess is walking alone, crying. And all you can ask is if she's okay. Are you okay? What's the meaning of that? See, let's leave this place fast before they will accuse us of doing something stupid. Jerry, I don't have strength for trouble. Jerry, you are just tall. You don't have no small sense like this nonsense. You don't have sense. Are you trying to insult me or what? Listen, as it stands now, you will find your way. Going after the princess. Vitalis! Vitalis! Hey! Don't say I didn't warn you! Don't say I didn't warn you! Okay. Pride and greed has taken our hearts so We have forgotten the culture of our land The gods of our land they can never, never change. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. yeah. Where have you been? I went to your house when you weren't there. I went to see someone. Um, anyways, I want my footwear. Calm down now. Eh? Your blow to the hot. I already told you I will bring it later. Uh -huh. By the way, I saw Vitalis and the princess. What? Mm. They were in a compromised position. What do you mean by compromised position? They were romancing each other. Ah, because you won't have If you hurry, you will meet them down there. Mm. Ah, because you won't have Isn't it? Are you sure of what you're saying? I cannot lie to you, you're my friend. I cannot... Isn't it? Let's go. Man, come and take me. Can you can go see. You're missing everything. You can dance at all. Isn't it? It hey. trusts the wrong one. Oh, you can't wait. But as we grow, we are forgetting our culture and tradition. Everybody wanted this. Vitalis, let me have a word. What is it? I'm scared. What do you mean you're scared? Scared of what? I'm scared of everything. Um, um, about, about, about this. You just, you just need to remember that it's a woman that put us into this situation that we are right now. And we should be very careful while dealing with women issues. This one will not be like the one in the city. I have a strong feeling about this one. It will give us connection, might give us opportunity. Just relax, this will go smoothly. Uh, Vitalis, uh, we just need to be very, very careful, please. We just need to be very careful. Point noted. Relax. Can I? He do a thing like this to me. Is it because I am not from a wealthy home? Because she's a princess? Why would he not even care about how I feel about him? I will deal with this princess. She cannot take someone I love away from me. Why in this world will she even visit him? Uh, my daughter, I've heard everything you said. 
I will not let your mother know your whereabouts. Uh, you can stay here till everything is settled. Hmm? Thank then you can go back home. Thank you, Chi. I promise to help the best way I can. Uh, my son and I will take care of you the best way we can. Thank you, sir. Uh, but I have to inform you know that you are here. You are the princess of this kingdom, so you wouldn't look somehow. I hope you understand. Um, no problem, Chi. The thing is, I wanted to go to my friend's place, but I wasn't allowed to take any of the cars from the palace. So I'll tell my friend to come pick me up tomorrow. But there is no need telling the honorable, honestly. Uh, yes. Okay, no problem then. No problem. Uh, Vitalis! Vitalis! Papa! Come. Uh, please, prepare something for our guests to eat. That's what I'm doing, Papa. That's good. Just prepare it in a way that she wouldn't make the palace too much. I'm doing my best. Um, listen, I am in no position to attend to those managerial issues. But um, it will be resolved and I'll tell you what to do. Yeah. Um, I'll call you back. Okay. Hi. Hi. How long have you been standing there? For a while. Okay. I overheard you talking to your friend to come pick you. Yes, I mean... I haven't said that. Thank you so much for your hospitality. I really had a nice time here. Um, and who is tired of offering you as much hospitality as you want? You can stay here for as long as you want. No, 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 no. I, I honestly don't want to be a burden to anyone. <sighs> Princess? Did you just talk about burden? It is an honor to have you here. A blessing, if I must say. Really? You... Yes, really. I'd... I'd like you to stay as much as you want. In fact, I do not want you to go. Um, <clears throat> I, um, in that case, I will have to call my friend and let her know that, that I have changed my mind. Thank you. It's okay. Um, I'll make you something very special. I never told you I was hungry. It doesn't really matter. Real quick! I think you should just open a restaurant. What do you think? Anytime you're ready, we start up together. <laughs> What, what is even your problem? What is even your problem? Do you like the condition we are now? I don't. At the same time, I can't do it. What do you mean by you can't do it, Vitalis? What do you mean by you cannot do it? Hear yourself! Huh? See, listen to me. You would do it. We have gone through a lot. We have gone through a lot. Pain, hunger, starvation. We need this money. You need it. I need it. See, there is no going back. Look at a glaring opportunity that is that is as that is that is as crystal like this the, like the moon. And then you're here trying to blow it off. Guy, let us cash this money. We are going to cash out. Please. Now you listen, Jerry. Jerry, Jerry. I understand that we need money. I also understand that you want us to go back to the class that we were. But, have you for a second thought about the other side? 
which is goodness it is risky jerry it is in fact i'm scared i can't do it how else am i supposed to let you know that i can't do it okay you, you you're just scared thinking we will get caught Nobody's catching us. We can't be caught. See, it's, it, the route is so smooth. Okay, don't be scared, man. Don't be scared. Jerry, I think, pay attention. I think that we will be doing ourselves a lot of good if we take the princess back to the palace. We will definitely be appreciated. Have you thought about that? Or better still, we can even find connection. Think about it. Vitalis, you are a fool. You are the biggest fool I've ever met. I'm sorry to use these words on you. Did you just hear yourself? Do you have anything to think in this your big head? That we should return the princess? Maybe we will, they, they, they will compensate us or we get connected. You think that is, is that easy? You better rethink. Come out from that dream of yours. Guy, we are doing it. We need the money. You need it, I need it. We are doing it. Look at you. I cannot believe you. I just cannot believe you. You are in it with me. Let's go. Wait, wait. Jerry. I, Vitalis, will never, ever be involved in anything illegal. What do you mean? What does it look like I'm doing? You're not supposed to be here. What are you doing in this house? See, the last time I checked, you and this young man is not married. Eh? You and this young man is not married. The both of you are not doing anything now. Eh? So spare me that. Oh, now I see. So this is how you want to pay me for every good thing I've done for you? <sighs> Same old word that already lost all the meaning. Listen to me. You are trying your possible best to grab him, just the same way I'm trying my, my luck. Eh? So let's be trying together. Whoever he picks, no, no problem. Eh, let's be trying now. You are very stupid girl. You are more than stupid. You are ungrateful element. You are good for nothing. Oh, brother, I already lost all the meaning. Listen, listen to me. You are trying your luck, just the same way I'm trying. Eh? So we should be trying it together, whoever he gets. Good morning. Finally. You're young, great father. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Ah. Good morning. How are you? Uh, fine. Good, good princess. morning, princess. Do you want to come in? I'm, I'm, I'm already on my way. I want to start going. Well, why are you leaving? Uh, no. Uh, but yes, yes. We're, we're already leaving before yes. you came out. So we're leaving. Yeah. No, 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 we're, yes. we're leaving. I hate you. I will take you out. your call and tell him what by the way who is that who else if not him what is your problem you have refused to tell the father of the child that you are pregnant now the one that is coming you are pushing him away what is it here's where this is coming from because you need help help to do what at least to take care of the baby see this child cannot come into this world without a father. Since you have refused to tell the father of the child that you are pregnant because you think he cannot take care of the baby, at least allow the one that is coming. 
This one that is showing interest, allow him, please. I can't. Why? You know, the one that baffles me the most is the father. He's even insisting that he's the father of the child. Okay, so what do you intend to do? What do you want me to do? I can't stand him not to talk of calling him the father of my child. You can't stand him, yet you are lagging into your space. I was only having fun. Having fun? Okay, see where your having fun has landed you. Please, do the needful before it's too late for you. Please, he's calling again. Why our number is not connecting yet? Why am I having this feeling that something bad has happened to my sister? Mother! You father! What is it? Why would you allow me to rest in this house? Why are you not bothered that since yesterday your daughter left this house? She has not returned. You feel so careless about it. She's a big girl. She can always take care of herself. To tell you the truth, I don't know why you hate your daughter so much that you care less about her whereabouts and her safety. If not that I can recall that you gave birth to her, I would have been forced to ask you if you are a biological mother. Shut up! What do you know, you little brat? Do you know the amount of sacrifices I am making to better your life? Mom, I don't need such betterment. Tell me you want to better my life at the expense of my own sister. Do you realize she's my only blood? Hello? Is she the one? Why are human beings so wicked? Why will isn't it with this to me? What is she hoping to achieve? Mother. Please, let's send them this money so they can release her right away. Send which money? The one you gave to me? There is no money. Oh no, mother. Don't tell me we don't have up to 20 million naira in this house. That can't be true. Mother, please. Send them this money because I know we have it. I don't want anything to happen to her. Will you shut that trap? Honestly, you are growing wings. Don't ever be a disturbance to me. Mommy, please now. Eh? Please. Let's send them the money. I, because I know we have it. I, I don't want anything to happen to my only sister. Please. Give me the money. Let me go and pay them. Nonsense. Mother, are you for real? You know if I have this money, I won't hesitate to give it to them so they can release her right away. Mother, please, I don't want anything to happen to my sister. She's my only blood. Please, let's give it... Don't push me to the wall. I'm sorry, Mother, but... Mother... Stop! I told you, I told you that this thing will work. Jerry, I am scared. I don't want this girl to put us into trouble. No, calm down. We are not getting into any trouble. Let's just wait for her call. Say, too much money involved. Look at you, you talk as though the money is yours. Let's just wait until she brings the money. Ah, ta. She will bring the money. See, no matter what the daughter must have done, a mother's love will still remain a mother's love. No mother will abandon her own child. See, a mother will go to any length to save her child. She will bring the money. Trust me. I just... 
I just hope she brings the money. <laughs> oh my God. Look at now. I just hope she brings the money. The whole thing is beginning to mesmerize you. Then back then you were acting like a woman. <laughs> wait, I want to understand. Are you mocking me or you're trying to blame me for being scared? Can we just wait? The job is not done. So you stay calm. <laughs> the job is already a success. See, the only thing I'm thinking now is the money. How I'm going to get my own percentage of the money. The only thing I'm thinking about is how to make the money and get my own percentage. Are you also thinking about if this did not go right? You are also going to be thinking about going to jail. Your love for money is becoming too much. You have to take it easy and stay calm. Your love for money is becoming outrageous. It's becoming something else. Take it easy. Okay, yes, I, I've heard you, but if I, if I get into trouble because of the money, the same money will put me out of the trouble. The same okay. thing that happened to us while we were in the city. Women put us in the condition that we are today. Oh, you, not me. Us. Just a partaker. Okay. Shall we? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Hey, yeah, yeah, take it easy. Let's just go. So, where exactly should I drop the money? Okay. Okay, you get it. Hmm. So, what did they say? They will send the address to me. Very well, then. I'm coming with you. No, 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 no. It is too dangerous. I'm going there myself. Exactly why I should come with you. What if they plan to hurt you? We are not discussing this. Let's and that is final. Get my bag ready. Mommy, I don't want something bad to happen to you. Nothing Let me is happening to me. I cannot risk the lives of my two daughters. This is my fight. Mom, please, let me come with you, please. Just go and get my bag. Get my bag immediately. Go! why you have to trust those kidnappers so much to even believe what they told you. I, I mean, you should have gone there with the police. Probably by now, they would have been arrested and my sister would have been back home safely. Were you not here when they warned me against involving the police? I said you shouldn't worry. She will soon be here. They already have the money. Come on. I'll get the door. happened. You're surprised? I never knew you despised me this much. I thought all the complaints, hatred, torture will end. No. You proved me wrong. You proved to me that I am nothing to you. Just forget about this whole thing. This idea just won't work. Why? I just want you to do this for me. 
I just want to know how much my mother actually loves me. That's all. And it's not real kidnap. It's just, it's fake. Okay? It, just do this for me, please. What if we get into real trouble along the line? Nobody is getting caught. I won't put you in trouble. Just do this for me. I just want to know how much my mother loves me. That's all. Please. Princess, I, I suggest you leave this uh, whole thing that you're trying to do. I'm not feeling very comfortable with it. Why? See, Princess, a mother is a mother. And no mother forgets or abandons her own child. I, I think your mother is trying to recover from the shock of her husband's death. Exactly. Listen, I'm not sure your mother hates you as much as you think. This woman is just... She's just emotionally drenched at the moment. Give her time, she would come around. You wouldn't understand. You don't get it. Just do this for me. It really means a lot to me. Please. It's okay if... If you don't want to do it, I'll get someone else to do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's okay. It's, um, um, uh, me, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Uh, in as much as uh, you will be handsomely rewarded. And just, just take a look at you, I'm in, I'm in. You know what you are saying, I am in. Do you know the implications? Oh, come on. What if we get caught? Nobody is getting caught, I swear. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, uh, Vitalis, leave, leave that whole shit. We are not going to get caught. See, uh, we're not kidnapping her for real. It's just like playing uh, playing movie. Yeah. 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 I see your mind is already made up. I see you calling prison. Yes, sir. Huh. Not interested. I need you to do me a favor. Is the money ready? Giving you the money is not a problem. You demanded for 20 million naira, but. If you are ready to do what I want you to do, I will give you... Uh, wait, madam, do you think we're joking? Are you playing with your daughter's life? Well, what is the life to be played with? Since all she brings me is just pain. Well, that brings us to the task I have for you. Are you in? Uh, yes, yes, I'm in. I want her dead. When I mean rape, I mean until there is no more life left in her. Why do you want your daughter dead by all means? Oh, I see. You're trying to plan our arrest, right? No, you're trying to connive with the police to arrest us. No. Why will I do that? I want you to do this job for me. I'm not involving any police. I want her dead by all means. Are you doing it or not? Of course, yes, yes. Yes, I mean, as long as the money is ready. Good. I shall bring the money to the location. Please do a clean job. Madam, you're not going to teach us our job. You get the money ready and I'll show you first thing tomorrow you see her curbs alive. <laughs> Oh, um, wait, 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 you have to calm down. I'm not sure she meant any of those words. I mean, no mother would want to do such to her daughter. Listen, no. I'm not sure she meant any of that. She's just possibly playing pranks to get us arrested. Yes, you're right. I, I, and, and I can assure you, nobody's arresting us. It's, it's okay. No, you're not just going to change gear in that cry. Don't change no gear. It's all a prank. 70,000 dollars. This is what your mother paid us to rape you porously and then kill you. That's it. Hey. <laughs> 
possible your mother is using this money as a trap. She might have had it all planned with the police to get us arrested. I mean, no mother would possibly pay for the murder of her own child. Don't you understand? Trap! Pain! Pain! A total stranger! To rape and kill her, her own child. My mother, my mother was to, was made dead. I know my mother. I know what she's capable of doing. But my question is, my question is, what? What? What, what was my offense? What did I do? I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything to her. Princess. I need you to calm down. I know how it feels. But you still have to calm down. Before now, you have made up your mind to accept whatever result that comes from this. I just... I just want us to look for the way forward right now. What is the way forward? My mother has really hurt me so, so bad. But I'll, I'll stick to the end of this. Good. So what next? Do you want to play games? <laughs> then let's play the game. Game of what? I think we are done with our own part of the game. This is the money that was paid. Let's share the money. Whether marked money or whatever the money is called. Let's share it. You are not going to share a dime from that money, Jerry. Why? Let you listen then. There's a reason the Queen is doing this. I think it's only necessary if we find out what it is. What? What did you just say? Oh no, no. This can't be true. Mother, did you do it? What is the matter with you? Don't tell me you believe this nonsense. I'm confused. Um... My queen, as you can see, we are not kidnappers. Uh, your daughter only wanted to know if you still care about her or if she still has a place in your heart. And who the hell are you to talk to me in that man? Apologies, my queen. With all, with all due respect, um, I think you should iron things out with your daughter. She's still your daughter. I said, who are you to talk to me in that manner? Mother. Mother. Why are you not talking to me? Did you plan such evil? Whatever I did was nobody's business. None of you were there to pass through the pains I went through in the hands of the king with me. Mother. But whatever you must have passed through in the hands of the king is between you and the king. 
You must not rub it on my sister because she has nothing to do with oh, it. Oh, it has everything to do with her. How do you mean, mother? She reminds me everything about him. She reminds me the coldness he developed immediately he found out I had another child out of wedlock. She reminds me of the pains I had to endure. In all this you've mentioned, I don't see how my sister contributed to it. Mother, I know you went through so much in the hands of your husband. And no matter how hard you try to explain, no one will fully understand your pains. All I'm asking is that you forgive father and love my sister rightly. Because she's your daughter as well. Please, mother. There you go again. And besides, any man in father's shoes will do exactly the same. Really? You should have told me you are here to judge me. Never, mother. You know I for one will never judge you. Brother, you are the one misunderstanding me now. Bravo! Since you understand it all, then go ahead. Mother, you owe my sister an apology. You know I will do no such thing. Mother, you will because you really hurt her so badly. <laughs> I said I would do no such thing. I am your mother. Then, be prepared to do that in the presence of the elders in cancer. You cannot do that to me. I am your mother. Then, apologize to her because she is your daughter. I will not do that. She expects me to apologize to her. I will not do that. Never! Hey, I told you you're going to fall in love. Says who? Who is falling in love? Listen, I... No, I'm not. It's just that there is... There is something I... I see in princess that I've not seen in another woman. Mm. Mm. There's something I see in the face I've not seen another woman Okay, myself the fact that you are in love. All right, in love with who? With the princess, of course. If you are not in love with her, why are you suddenly developing this interest of, 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 of another person's well-being? My friend, my friend, shut up, dear. What is wrong with one caring for another? One who shows another concern? What is wrong with that? Mm hear -hmm. yourself. Now, take my candid advice. You better be careful. And the reason why I'm asking you to be careful is because, as we speak now, the princess is a total liability. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't understand. What do you mean by the princess is uh, a total liability? <laughs> is that a question for me? No, but wait a minute. What's even your plans? You said earlier that you're not interested in the princess, and now you want to know why she's a liability. Yes, of course. I, I mean, I want. Why am I even discussing this situation? In fact, you're confusing me. It won't work. You see this case? End of topic. Hold on. Love boy! Yeah, I love. Just as happy. Steph, you may not agree with me, but I must say in my mind. If whatever you have to tell me is going to make me more angry, then I better advise you to keep it to yourself. You know why? You wouldn't want to be receiving a chilled slap from me. You want to slap me for telling you the truth. What truth are you even talking about? No problem, but I will still say it. You have not been very calculative as an adult. Excuse you? Steph, you weren't too sure of the one who is responsible for your pregnancy. So, why would you tell Philip about it? The fact that this is coming from a classless person who calls other people classless. Are you for real? Has it become an insult? Well, I did not insult you. 
I am only telling the truth to your face. Are you, are you expecting me to impose my pregnancy on another man? That wasn't what I was trying to say. Steph, this guy loved you. You presenting your pregnancy to him wasn't good. You know, I just confirmed that you're very sick in the head. Listen to me and listen very attentively. This is my pregnancy, my cross to bear. And with this pregnancy, I have my own plans. Is it possible for you to just let me be with it? Plans. Okay. But as a friend, I mean, a trusted housemate, can you tell me what you're planning, please? I haven't seen you for a long time now. I hope there's no problem. There's no problem. Mm, there's no problem. Alright, so since you said there is no problem, then there is no problem. Um, but but you, you said you've been looking for me. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm just, there's no problem. Uh -huh. You know, I haven't seen you in our house in a while and then I was worried, but now that you've said no problem. Better still, you are looking for someone to be doing the chores for you. Eh? But I would advise you to tell the princess to be doing it for you. Is she not a woman? And she can't do it now. What is the meaning of that? What are you trying to say? Eh, what I'm trying to say is that I am done doing those things for you. I am done doing them. You sound very rude about it. You sound like one is pushing you, one pushed you, or forced you into doing what you did. It was your decision. And now that you have also made up your mind not to do it again, it's still your decision. So don't make a mole out of nothing. He didn't even beg me. Don't he find me attractive? I thought he would beg me. Don't worry, I will still get you. Ah, Chova! Chova, no? Yes, any problem? Ah, Chomi. Don't tell me you're still angry over that thing that happened the other day. You know what? I thought you are my friend, but obviously you are not. Because you've shown me the kind of person you are. You can actually take my joy, my happiness, if given the opportunity. In fact, you're a Chuma, your joy, what? How can I take away someone's joy? I'm not a witch now. I'm not a witch. Oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. I promise it will not happen again. Okay, apology accepted. I've forgiven you. But you said this friendship? I am no more interested. Uh, I don't want it anymore. Chelenu, Be chelenu, chelenu, chelenu. I thought you said you've forgiven me. Eh? I don't allow that small misunderstanding that happened the other day to cost our friendship. I, I value this friendship a lot. Biko, no. No, no, man, no. Biko. You value this friendship a lot. Yet you forgot and decided to hurt me. Okwagi. Isn't it please? Eh? I don't want to have anything to do with you from now. Not to go to long. Who is in a given? I'm sorry. Should I kneel down for you? Eh, no, I'm sorry. It, it will not happen again. I, I promise. I'm a good girl now. Nothing. I'm just. I'll be very nice. Very good. Very good. Hmm? Keep your promise to yourself. Let me be on my own for now. Oh, yes. Very simple. No. Chio. Chi. No, or my milk will never so my mom's I gain any this game. Sorry now. Oh careful.
Your Majesty, I am trying so hard to understand why you are visiting me. It's no other thing than what I've been asking of you, no. But this time around, I came with a more interesting offer. How I wish there is anything I can do to be of help to you. But unfortunately, there is nothing I can do. Obuevia Kigwe is the one saddled with the responsibility of naming kings in Akama. Not do you know who. But from what we have gathered, royalty is going to be retained in your family and your daughter Zongine is the one who has a part to play in this election. No, she's not my first daughter. And I want my first daughter to be the one. Well, I don't know how you want to do that because there is nothing I can do. Well, not when there is something more interesting that is involved. Something like what? Oh, yes, you really need to talk to me. What is the problem? I was very disturbed when the guard told me that you needed to see me and it was urgent. What happened? The sky is thick. Very thick. The man who is in the man is going the ways of men. Well, yes, that's a very thick language and I understand exactly what that means. What happened? Why are you sounding this way? <laughs> By myself, with my own hands, who know why I have finally killed myself. I never knew I was going to kill myself when I got married to that evil woman. I should have listened to Guifi. I don't understand. Why are you saying this of the way? Why are you calling her evil? Has anything happened to her? It should have been better if something has happened to her. I brought this upon myself, oh no. A woman who cannot keep her legs closed, jumping from one man to another. Oh no. I got married to a queen who cannot control herself. Hey. Oh yes, I don't know why you are saying this of the queen of our land. Don't allow another ear to hear this. Oh, did they enjoy my God there? Why would the gods allow this happen to me? Where did I go wrong? Who did I offend? Cause be all those men who the queen has been sleeping with under my nose. But why would the queen do this? A, a woman who is married to a king knows that her nakedness has become very sacred and that she has no right whatsoever to expose that nakedness to any other man, not to talk of allowing the man enjoy the said nakedness. Uh, uh, the queen knows that if it happens that the king is going to die. So why would she do a thing like this? Because she is heartless, you know, that is her reason. Because it's any man who has slept with the queen. And cause shall be any man who will sleep with the queen after I am gone. Such man shall never know peace throughout his life. Can, can you just stop this? There is already a cause laid. And I'm not going to be part of the men that will just fall into that cause. It's not possible. What do you mean, no? I'm the queen. Yeah. I know that you cannot disobey me. I am not disobeying you because you are the queen, yes, but I am the you know who. And men who are men understand the line between life and death. So many men who do not even understand what being a man is all about. They have actually crossed that line because it is too tiny. They have wandered into the arena of death, thinking that they are still alive. I don't know about all of that, but I need you to tell me about my daughter. What happens to her when you give her birth rights to the younger sister? Listen, I, 
Azongini is the one we know to be royalty. Onyinye, your daughter, is not of royal blood and she cannot lay claim to the throne of Akama. Can you just stop making things difficult? No, I am the queen and they are my daughters. I will not watch my own daughter go through pain watching her younger sister take what rightfully belongs to her. I am sure you can still recall what happened to Professor Kunka. Listen to me. We have gods and the ancestors here in Akama. And there is already a laid down pattern how kings emerge. People should not move faster than the gods. Because when they do, they will always run into trouble waters. I don't want that to be your portion. Just like that, Honorable Minister can no longer work. Chief, that's how we see it though. My enemies are at work. I don't know who is behind this. Who did I offend? Well, madam, don't worry. Eh? Everything will be okay. Uh, I think we should just fly him abroad for surgery. Doctor said there won't be need for that. Since he will no longer walk, he will remain crippled. This is, this is pathetic. Really, really pathetic. But, please, don't give up, eh? I'm sure a solution will surely come. Okay? Hmm. Chief, there won't, be, there won't be any solution. There is no solution. I don't know who, who is doing this to me. All of a sudden, my husband is now crippled from the spinal cord. Who is behind this? So unfortunate, mother. Bitter truth is that there are so many enemies, yet we cannot recognize our enemies by, by the face. It's just so, so unfortunate. It's all right. But please, huh? just calm down. Hmm? My dear, it's okay. Huh? Alice, liven up and huh? stop being moody. Okay? It's just like a dream. Yeah. My dear, that is life. Like they say, such is life, yet we keep living. Sorry, my dear. It's my chief. Oh. God shall punish the enemies. I know I am not royalty, but I know a lot about royalty. And what is my business with the knowledge you have about royalty? You see, royalty has a strong connection to decency. And people without decent values hardly attract royal validations. You're still blabbing, okay? You're not making any sense to me. Your pregnancy is the reason the princess did not invite you to her marriage ceremony. How do you mean? If the princess had invited you to her marriage ceremony, in what capacity would you have attended? As a maiden? As a wife or what? She's just talking nonsense. I mean, if she did not invite me because I was pregnant, what about Nina? Is she also pregnant? One thing I know about you is that you will never accept to have understood what you clearly understood, especially when it is not favorable to you. Are you trying to say that you're more intelligent than I am? This is not about intelligence. It's about being careful. Listen, if you must visit the princess, please do not go there to confront her because you are not qualified. You're stupid. You're a certified fool. 
I mean, you have gone nuts. Really? Who the hell do you think you are to walk into this place? Because you managed to wear a red cloth with some potholes. You think you've arrived? Uh, it's so okay, that's place. enough, that's enough. Please get out of my house. Anyway, my advice. Do not go there to confront her because you are not calling her. And you think you are? Get out. Look at her. Demented Samaritan. Idiot. Eche, how are you? I am not fine. I have not been fine ever since your friend Choma betrayed me. Sorry about that. If I had known, I, I wouldn't have told you. I love her so much. So, so very much. How could she have done that to me? It's okay. So, what is the next thing now? About what? Both of you. Now that you know about everything, I guess you just need to forgive and move on. What? Forgive who? Forgive someone who did not even accept she's wrong? Come on, Izine. I am done with your mom and that is final. Ah, Eche. It's not like that now. See, I, I didn't tell you this so that you can end the relationship. I actually uh, told you this so that you can know what is happening and uh, maybe caution her. Listen, Izine, you don't have to blame yourself for what happened. Hmm? You did what you were supposed to do as a good friend. You know what? Mm. I owe you. Tell me anything you want and I will do it for you. Eh? Anything? Anything at all. Okay. Like anything? Yes. Anything at all? Isn't it anything? <laughs> Do you want it now? Come on, so what are you waiting for? Easy, easy. Ah, easy ah, I'll give ah, I'll give you the I still wonder how it is that I've known you for all these years. I still, I didn't know you are this sweet and romantic. <laughs> You're already praising me when I'm not done anything yet. Are you serious? What am I saying? Or oh, I'm not saying correctly? What is going on here? I know, go Didi, I can leave him alone. Leave him alone. No, no, no. Happy, leave him alone. What's the problem? Huh? Uh huh. My own eche. Can you? My sweet eche. What is it? Love him. Again? What is going on here? Again, Neme. Are you blind? What does it look like? Listen, Choma, or whatever you call yourself, you are interrupting us. Can't you see we are? Doing something. Oh, you are. And you? I thought you have changed. But you have not. You are still a green snake under a green grass. <laughs> but I promise you, you will regret this. I don't want to cross. What is your problem? Don't blame me for your misfortune. Misfortune now. Misfortune kill you there. I thought you are man enough. Just because of little misunderstanding. Oh, barely anyone he see. Little misunderstanding. You, you, you switched to my friend. You are falling so cheap. Hey, Chazona. Hey, Chazona, you will regret this. And you. Ezine. Hey, you, Ezine. You. You, 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 you,
for the frustrated lady. We, we know how to fix this. Now, I can't pronounce it. Can you just talk with that? That's how you go here. Hello! Hey! 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 You will regret it. Watch him. It is so clear that your son has found favor in the eyes of the gods. That is why he is being projected not only to be the king of Akama, but equally the custodian of Obodife after what he did. <laughs> uh, I'm not surprised. I've done some findings. Okay. And I discovered that uh, a woman that is never married cannot define anyone. Mm -hmm. Because actually, the lady invited him to her house. And that was where she seduced him. And those are the kind of useless women who will eventually become mothers to the future warriors of Akam. Listen, cost is that kingdom that useless women are the mothers of their warriors. Shame. Shame to all the loose women out there. All of them. Shame on all of them. Not only the loose women, even the loose men too, including my son. He is not claiming he was saying, why didn't he run away? Oh, come on, Ishiyanos. Why are you saying this? Why are you blaming your son? You know it yourself now that it is not always easy to stop. Uh, but even despite what he did, the gods and the ancestors of Akama still allowed him to handle the offer and nothing happened to him. That simply means in the eye of the gods, he did not do anything wrong. He actually enjoyed himself. <laughs> he understood. <laughs> Maybe she needed help. He just helped him. He, <laughs> yeah, he actually helped somebody who was in need. <laughs> so why are you blaming the young man? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Why is this girl here? Doesn't she know that my friend is married? Hey. Um, <laughs> Why are you still trying to win my friend's love? Aren't you aware that he's now married? Point of correction. I am not trying to win your friend's love. Or whatsoever. I admit I made a mistake. But if that doesn't mean I should stop doing the good I have been doing. So tell me, why do you still come here to sweep and do the house chores? You should be long gone for knowing that your plans have failed. Mm -hmm. I still have not forgotten the good man that lives here. He's the one I'm doing all this for. And not just for your friend. I accept your friend is married and the next king of Akama Kingdom. Wait, it doesn't stop me from taking care of his father. Indeed. Very well then. I hope your intentions are clear this time. Azongini, my dearer sister. Wow. I'm so happy for you. You are actually meant for this. Nego dear. Nicky, turn around. <laughs> Chai, this looks good on you. Thank you so much. You're welcome, my darling. Oh my god. I really love this outfit. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you, my one and only sister. Oh. You're truly one of a kind. Oh, really? I mean, that you are still happy with me? Even after taking your position as a head princess? It's quite confusing. Oh my God, it shouldn't be, my dear. Of course I know the truth. And you know I'm not one of those who will go fighting the truth. Yeah, our mother is a queen, but I'm not royalty. <sighs> My bed is shrouded in confusion because even our mother does not know who fathered me. So going by that, which same person will be angry that the gods did not favor her? Of course I can't be angry because the gods cannot favor or use people like me. Don't say that. Don't be hard on yourself. Uh, listen, I don't know why we, we have this faith, you know? <sighs> it's quite unfortunate that we have not been favored with a good mother. And you know it. She's too promiscuous. Maybe that's the reason the gods denied her the joy of reproducing an heir to the throne. Sometimes I, I just feel like, you know, getting out of here, just running away. But that is not possible. Your husband lives here with you because he has been chosen to minister on the offer of Akama Kendo. My dear. Press it up and don't allow mother to make you feel any different. Okay? I know you can. You know, your words are really suited. Thank you. Come here, sit down. So tell me. I missed you. I missed you, Mama. I'm going to miss you. That's not making me cry. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh, truly, you look. Amazing on this. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, listen, Jerry. If you will listen to me, there's an opening that has been provided for you. All you need to do is shoot your shot. I have a burden to contend with. What happens if I tell her about my feelings and she turns me down. Men. Men who are looking for success. Do not think about the other way. Head up. Forward. Fold. Now, you tell her whatever you believe. Whatever happens after then can be handled. That's it's what makes you a man. Um, please, can we stop this topic and talk about my friend who is now the king of Akama? <laughs> there is nothing to talk about a friend who is already the king. Perhaps I'd rather we talk about the one who is in love and not willing to admit. But if you ask me, the whole thing is sounding like it's so strange to me. I mean, there's some person I walked out. <laughs> well, that is the power of love for you. Just keep trying. Hmm. Hopefully, you will win. But I'll tell you one thing, brother. Love is true. Love is deep. Love is one soldier that can conquer a battalion. Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs>
Sam, you told me a lot about this theft of a friend. And I remember vividly whether you were so excited when you heard the news that she visited. But what I don't understand is, why did the meeting end abruptly? And why are you looking so agitated? I can't believe what I just found out. I mean, why would this happen to me? No, please, what happened? Are you all right? What happened now? Talk to me. Okay. Remember I told you of Steph? Dying for this guy we do not know of, right? That she loves him so much that she would do just anything for him. I told you about him, remember? Oh, yeah. I remember you mentioned all that to me. But what I still don't get is what spot it has to do with this, your present state. My husband, he walked in, he walked in here while Steph was here. <laughs> and so? Is there anything wrong in your husband seeing you and Steph? I am so devastated. I mean, why didn't this happen before now? Goodness me, you're confusing me the more. Please, let it out. It turned out that my husband was the one. Yeah, I... Which one, Kwan? The one Steph was dying. <gasps> in fact, my husband is the father of Steph's unborn child. Stop. Why will you keep such away from me? To be honest with you, I did not know. No one mentioned it to me. You know what this means? You know the implications, right? What implications? With this, you may end up not being the custodian of a body affair. Your dedication is in two days. Can you imagine what the elders will do once they find out? I already discussed this with my father and no. And what about Owefi Akigwe? Same. I had words with them. I told them everything. But they kept saying only one word. The gods have chosen you. My father told me that a woman who has never been married cannot defile a man. She seduced me. The gods bear me witness that I regret all my actions. To be honest with you, I never, ever knew that this would become a pregnancy. From what I know, about the custodian of a body affair. He must be a man of high moral standard. He must not be the kind of man who sleeps with random women, not to talk of fathering a child out of wedlock. I'm aware of the things you just mentioned. I told all of them, I am not worthy of this position. Like I told you before, one thing was constantly mentioned. You are the chosen one. My father went as far as making wider inquiries. And the same thing was still 
repeated. So my darling, right now, I am in the hands of the gods. You are stressing my life, isn't it? Why are you stressing my life? You're so unbelievable. I wonder how trauma has been putting up with you all this while. You're so unbelievable. Oh, really? Do you want to know how she has been putting up with me? Okay, fine, I will tell you. Because she loved me. Oh yeah, she loved me unlike you who is after sexual satisfaction and money. She is talking. So he is talking. How much do you have? Enough. Enough to have made you open your loose legs. You have been opening, opening for ev everyone. You are insulting me. I am not insulting you, Zinne. But I am telling you the truth that no one else has ever told you. Stop it. I will stop. But on what condition? Go and locate who is responsible for that pregnancy. If you lie, deny it. All I know is that this one is yours. Oh, really? And I am telling you right now that I have nothing to do with that pregnancy. This is... Steph, what kind of a thing is this? Have you seen why I insisted that you should tell him about the pregnancy? Have you seen it? What difference does he make? He makes a whole lot of difference. He is married now. Not just married, but married to our friend. Your friend. So how is that supposed to be bothering you? It should bother you, my friend. Because the person we are talking about is our friend. Her husband. And your refusal to come forward when it matters most has put their marriage at risk. Well, that sounds alright. They should look for a way and sort themselves out. Oh no, you're not supposed to be saying that because it's not good. How can you even say such? Well, I am the one pregnant with this child. Tell me, is it a crime for me to become the queen? <laughs> is it? Are you alright? I mean, is this who you are? Steph! What? That's my name. Call it with some decor on this. You're not supposed to be saying. I am aware of the deep pain I've caused you. You have every right to be angry with me, and I will not hold it against you if. Enough, if... enough please. Enough of this, your preaching. What are we even doing here? Why did you stop me? I want to explain what really happened between Izini and I. It's still very strange to me. I really don't know what, what got into me. Should I tell you the truth? I hold no grudges against you or anyone. Strange things do happen. And one strange thing happened and cost us our beautiful relationship. I've moved on, and I will advise you to do the same. Oh? MMG, please wait. You just said you have moved on. Mm. But the question is, have you really moved on? I have apologized from my heart. Can't you please find a place in your own heart to forgive me? Please. I forgive you. You see this our separation? It brought me a huge blessing. This type of blessing that I do not gamble with. A do on this type of blessing you will. Chi, I know you are saying this to ultimately more and you are succeeding with that. <laughs> but please, my love. Eh, please, do not call me that. For you do not know what it means. You said this new man, I love him so much. And he loves me as well. Oh? Um, G, please don't, don't do this to me. Please. We can settle this like, like we have always done before. Mm. Please. <laughs> find a place in your heart to forgive me. Let's settle this amicably and we should, so we can move on again. Mm. Please. Like I said, Mobile 19 HK, I have forgiven you. <sighs> oh? Because right now, I am the most happiest woman on earth. And I do not have room for grudges or even anger. I just want to. I beg you. 
Do not spoil my mood. Gee, please. Don't even try to stop me. Gee, please. Please. Gee, please. Gee, please. Gee, please. Gee, 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 Jim. Joma. Hey. Hey. Gee. Gee. into our lives. The earlier you get that into your knob score, the better for you. Please get off my phone. So you just fooled me in believing you. Hey! I even regret doing such a thing with a, a, a fool. A fool like you. I never knew you were just an empty vessel. Hey! Me? Empty vessel? It's alright. Come on, say give for a break down that door, isn't it? You know you cannot lay your cursed hands on a tower of Akama, especially a pregnant one at like that. If you try it, if you try it, I will report you to the elders. Oh! You think I'm listening to that nonsense you're ranting? Go outside, yes, in there. Let, 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 let me be sent on you. Go outside. Break this door. Okay. Break this door and you'll be treated like a thief. Leave this place, oh. Ah. Break this door and leave this place by so start shouting. Oh. Leave this place. Okay. Remain in there. Remain there. But I will make sure that Akama is too small for you to, to live in. Ah. Ah, what? Ah. Um, what? Ah. Nonsense, I'm on you. I'm on you, one. You took that. Nonsense. Hey! Okay. As far as I can remember, this is the first time I am asking you for a favor, and here you are acting so important. Well, I don't know what that means. But you have a very careless way of talking. And ladies do not talk that way. Well, that's because we're not same. That's why we're different, right? Oh. You are so full of yourself. Okay, okay, wait. I just asked you for a favor and you just want to walk out on me just like that. Why? Okay. So you want me to link you up with Philip again? After telling him that you are pregnant? How is that even possible? Listen, I just want you to link us up. I mean, he is so angry with me that he doesn't even pick up my calls. What do you want from him? 
I know ne nothing can ever work between us anymore. But I just feel bad because I feel like I, because I, I feel like this makes them unceremoniously. Something tells me that you are broke. Yes, you're trying to collect some money from Philip. How do you even expect me to assist you in achieving that? You have collected two million naira from Philip and you did not even give me a dime. Is that your anger? Fine, just think us up and I'm going to do the needful this time around. Am I not the one who should be angry with you, mother? I mean, you brought me into this world without knowing who my father is. I have been trying to live with that. And now you are hating me for not hating who you want me to hate? Are you not even stupid for saying this before me? The people who know their fathers, are they any better than you? Is there anything you lack in this world? Oh yes. I lack that internal peace every woman needs. I can't believe the only sister I have in this world has been made to live in agony by her own mother. And you expect me to be happy about it? Oh no. The weakness you have is that you don't even know where your problem is coming from. Stop attaching yourself to that cursed daughter of mine that made the king to hate me until he died. She has been your limitation. And until you learn to detach yourself from her, you will never amount to anything. See the kind of language a mother is using on her own daughter. Sometimes when I look at you, something tells me you may have a hand in the death of the man that loves me genuinely, even when he knew that I wasn't his daughter. What did you just say? You hurt me, mother. You hated that man for nothing. You made life so miserable for him just because he discovered that you are not as queenly as he thought. Then he died suddenly. Mother, can you look at me and swear on the offer that you have no hand in the death of your husband? Now listen to me, Onye. I don't know what you took that has given you the infantry to speak to me in this manner. But this must end here and now. And if you try it again, I will deal with you in a way that you will be wondering if actually I am your mother. You see, the more I look into this, more it seemed to me like a scam. What do you mean by a scam? Being a king is not actually the problem. For kingship has become political, not just here in Akama, the world at large. And what's your problem? My problem is becoming the custodian of a place as sacred as Obodifa. Forget about the way it was painted just to look romantic. That custodian which they talk about is becoming a priest. I honestly don't um, understand where you're driving at. Uh, what's the problem there? You're becoming a priest. Jerry, don't try to patronize me. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I had canal knowledge with a woman that is not of royal lineage. You're a wife. And you think because of that, you cannot become the priest? Stop that nonsense. It's Jerry. Jerry, Jerry. It is either you're not listening to me or you're just going to stay calm and I explain to you once again. Steph is carrying my child out of that one night stand. Now you tell me. Can a man with a random child become the priest of a place as sacred as a Budifa? Vitalis, um, I'm sorry. Your Majesty, my very good friend. If you may forget every other thing, please 
don't forget the fact that you were chosen by the gods. You didn't choose yourself. The gods chose you. And to prove it that they did not make any mistake in doing that, you have been handling the same offer that killed the prof. Look at you. You are still alive. That alone should tell you something, my very good friend. Question is, why has the gods chosen me? Why not someone else? The question should be, why have you decided to disappoint your family? by rejecting what other families are bribing to have. Think, my very good friend. I just want to know the truth and nothing but the truth. Who is the father of the child you're carrying? What makes you think you can walk into my house to ask me such films a question? What is your business with the father of my child? I don't mean to come here to question you. I just want to know the truth. My husband is about to become the custodian of Obodife. Obodife in Akama is a sacred arena where mortals wait on the gods in Akama to attend to their problems. A man who is not morally upright cannot assume that position. Well, I only had fun with someone who had to quit his job to become my personal assistant and his name is Vitalis. How am I supposed to know that he was going to be your husband? It has everything to do with you, Steph. And that's because with this child in your womb, he will not be qualified for that title. It will be held as if he went ahead of the gods. And it will lead to his death. Lead to his death. I mean, what does that have to do with me? It has a lot to do with you. We only had fun. You didn't just have fun. You used him that night. You seduced him. Well, he enjoyed it. Why are you making it look like he never had fun? I mean, why are you twisting everything? That thing you called fun will ultimately lead to his death. I am hoping you ponder into it. You see, this is why I do not like all this cultural and traditions. Just have a way of making someone regret ever having the best moment of their lives. I don't like it. Well, 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 my friend. You know, the princess forgot to tell you about the consequences that comes with someone lying against the chosen one. What are you even talking about? You're not even from Akama Kingdom. Take several seats in front. That is because the princess once told me about this particular tradition of theirs. Do you know what happens to the corporates? What do you mean by culprit? There she goes again. The liar is the culprit. Once one is dedicated as the custodian, this person automatically becomes sacred. And the light emanating from this individual tends to bring to light 
every evil around. In other words, you're not making sense to me. You know, just like the princess said, I am hoping you will ponder on this. Have a good day, my good friend. you want? Steph, you are carrying my baby and you are talking trash to me. I am not carrying your baby and I've told you before, just go away from me. You are the one who doesn't know what you are doing. If anything happens to my child, eh? <laughs> you will look at this very hard with me. I am not carrying your child. Please, just go away from this place. Did you bother to know how I found out everything? In Salamogike, is the full definition of it. And you should know that now. That is why I am not going to let you come close to my child because you are a child. Listen to me. I want us to have agreement on that child. And that is why I am here. If you do not leave this place right now, I am going to call the police. You want to call the police for me? Don't worry yourself. I will make it very easy for you. Eh? I will call the police. And I will tell them that you are planning to impose my, 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 my baby on another man. Don't worry yourself. So let me help you. What is your problem? Why are you bent on frustrating me? What do you mean you cannot do it again? See, let me tell you. Don't play games with me. My queen, I am not playing games with you. I just can't continue with this. I mean, knowing fully whether he's not the father of my child. He's not going to be punished for his actions. I made everything up. Why the sudden change of mind? I mean, you were on it before I came in. Yes, but that was before I knew the consequences of lying against the court for certain of body effect. And what did you hear? A whole lot. I mean, I, he was only playing hard to get and that's why I had to just make him fall for me and that's all. That fool is not connected to royalty. In fact, I don't know what they've already told you. He is not from the family of kings. What? Yes, you heard me. He's not from the family of kings. I'm sorry, I can't continue anymore. I mean, I can't keep lying against the Corsetan of Obodife. I can't. Say, my dear Steph, I am not here to negotiate anything with you. For we already have our agreement sealed. Keep to your own part of the team. You may get down from my car. Excuse me? Now, get down. What is your problem? Why are you calling as if as if your life depends upon this call? <laughs> chief, see, uh, Chief, listen, man, I tell you something. No, 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 the young like say you no know who they talk to you. See, now Salah land alone, and they call you like this. Okay, where my balance day? Which balance? See, 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 man, I tell you something. Wait, wait, you don't understand. Now me they chop people mugu for this neighborhood. You can ask around. Before and I need to chop people move. You know, you don't hear what I tell you now. So where my balance then before I go change them for you now? Are you stupid? What balance are you talking about? Did you do the job I asked you to do? I gave you a simple job to do and you couldn't do it. Now like one of this old man. See, see, Chief. Nami bin Salah Landala. You understand? Make I tell you something. Any person with the job with the devil, eh? Now long smooth now they follow the job with now they use job with devil. I did very, very deadly, and they say, give this away, waiting belongs to Caesar. Make I tell you, I don't do your job. Let me have that balance. Else, if I visit you, chief, eh? You know, you know, go like me, oh. Now, listen, you idiot. Let me ask you. 
What was so difficult to understand the simple instruction I gave to you? Is there any relationship between kill him? I mean, kill him as to finish somebody and paralyze him? Let me ask you one question. If now you be that man waiting for that condition, you not go pray and make dead come kill you. If now you did that condition where that man dead now, why I keep that man now? You not go pray and make dead come kill you. Now, listen. Go back and finish up with the task I gave to you. Then you can come for your balance. Until then, don't ever, don't ever call me anymore. Let's see, Chief, Chief, don't call. Wait. Wait. Msala Landala, where everybody they fear. Now this old tiny man use the play. See, if 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 I if I catch this man, eh? Chief, if if I if, see if if I lay my hands on you, eh? Major Casco is taking to pieces. This man no know me. This man no know why they call me in Sala Landala for, for this town. Me, 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 where to kill person, no, no be anything to me. Don't worry. Come on, instruction. Do this, couldn't do it. I, 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 yet, they, they say you are, you, are, you, are, you are the best. Nonsense. I no. have to rush down here with the light bottle. Yes, you're welcome, Chief. Thank you. How's your friend? He is in the room. No improvement at all. Sorry if I interrupted your plans for the day. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't have to be worried. Hmm? Don't be bothered. Your husband is my very good friend. What are friends for? I have to be there for him, either in the day or in the night, either in good or in bad. Funny enough, amongst all his friends, you are the only one who has been checking up on him. Others have left, not even asking after him, nor coming to visit. Well, all of us cannot be the same thing. I'm not like them. Okay, Chief, I invited you here because a friend of mine told me about this healer from your community. Do you know about him? A healer? Yes, Chief. I'm not, a, I'm not aware of any. There's a particular name they gave him. Um, yes, they call him the custodian of Obudife. Have you come across him? Who told you about it? A friend of mine. And I was wondering, you haven't mentioned anything about him. Since you know he's a good healer and he can heal my husband and he save us from all these problems. Uh, well, I have not mentioned it to you because the Obodefe of a place is closed. Our late king functioned without visiting the place. Because he married a classless woman who was involved in so many uncritable things. But good enough, a new custodian has been, uh, has been uh, appointed and coincidentally, today is the dedication. Oh, wow. That is the good news. That means you will be there. Oh, sure, I will be there. It is an evening thing. Uh, and think uh, maybe after the dedication, we can just as well reason when can we go there with your husband. Oh, that would be nice, Chief. Thank you very much.
want to be king go o je ka bi gbe ndo ekana Hold it. Udo ekene. Udo ekene. Udo ekene. Udo ekene. It is not for us to understand because the ways of the gods are different from the ways of men. The gods have their reason for making you the chosen one. You are going to rise from here now. And you are rising from here. You will rise with the majestic light that confirms you the true king of Akama kingdom. The true custodian of Uborife, the land of light. Be it known to all men and women gathered here now, that when we fail to confirm the light of rising, it all means that the dedication has not been accepted. I've always had my fear. But I have decided to do it for my people. If I rise and the majestic light does not rise with me, may I be allowed to go back to my normal life, marry, bear children, and not be disturbed. I never craved for this office and never wanted it in the first place. But the gods have chosen me. Therefore, so be it. the Ezra Onyelinka law of Akama Kingdom, the custodian of Oborife, the land of light. Everybody want a test of power. Ogunamba, Achunuanike. Obwefi. Usisi kangu. The queen's condition is becoming very painful for her. 
I can tell you that she has been in pain since yesterday. And I can tell you that the queen has been wasting her time with the doctors. But they do not know what the queen is facing. You cannot buy it I came to you because I know there is something you can do. You, you can solve this problem. Tell me, what can we do? The truth is that the spirit of the late king has been disturbing the queen. And that spirit has to be appeased. Else, there will be no way forward for the queen's condition. How do you mean? The queen has to go to sleep in her body for seven days. Oh, the new custodian of Obodi will not allow the queen anywhere near that circle. Considering what we now know of the woman. You have to plead with the custodian. Do the best you can to convince him, to beg him. And I'm sure he will listen. Mother, you sent for me. Yes, I'm listening. Can you please help me and speak with your husband? Can you beg him on my behalf to allow me to go to Obudife? Beg him? You can do it yourself. I mean, my husband doesn't bite. Exactly, Mom. Her husband doesn't bite. I mean, is that the reason you actually asked me to call her? Mother, you could have asked the king yourself. And I'm sure he would have gladly given you the permission. Huh? It's okay. It's okay, Nini. Um, it's okay. Um, if it's something he he can do, he will definitely do it without hesitating. Is that a yes? You're my mother. Why won't I do it? Thank you so much, It's nothing. What could I have done with that? It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Can I go now? Thank you. I'm coming. Mother, you worry too much. Why won't I worry? I'm happy you got all you wanted. I heard your request, but I would like to let you know that I cannot grant such. There is no way a murderer would step foot into a place as sacred as a body fair. My love, this wasn't what you promised. A visit to that place can actually solve her problems. You are the custodian of that place. You don't have to go with us. Exactly, my king. Just give us the mandatory approval. And we can take her there. Approval denied. I inherited that sacred place, a place where ancestors meet the needs of mortals effortlessly. Like I said before, there is no way I am going to allow a murderer Step foot into a place as sacred as a body fair. Not under my watch. My king, is it my mother you are consistently calling a murderer? Beautiful. There are things beyond your comprehension, things bigger than you. Then tell me. Let me know about them. You are my husband. You are the king. Obviously, there are things that you know that I do not know. Educate me. I am ready to learn. Sweetheart, 
aside the fact that the queen cursed the death of the late king, there is something she's hiding from all of us. Do not capitalize on your position to hit lies on me. I am not hiding anything. I am not going to force you. Neither am I going to say a word concerning this again. But I assure you, at the appointed time, the priest will speak. Is there something you want to tell us? What are you hiding? Lied against the king has apologized. What? She did what? She came to my Ubi, narrated before the sacred staff of the great Udo, and confessed that she actually lied against the king. I was there. What did happen? She confessed that she was the one who made everything up. She used high-powered lies to lure the young man to her place, where she made efforts to seduce him and she fed in all. Then as a result of the drink, she offered him which he drank, presumably poisoned or drugged or something. He slept off, only to wake up Naked, beside him, a naked woman. And because of that picture that she painted, she has been blackmailing the young man that he took advantage of her. Whereas nothing actually happened. When she finally discovered that the young man has become the new king of Akama, she decided make herself his wife, thereby becoming the princess of Akama through the back door. Significantly, significantly, the queen paid her true back. So they can put the pregnancy on the king. Mother, you did what? Mother, is this true? I am the priest of Akama Kingdom. I don't lie. Do you think I will ever lie? Are the gods have the reason of still tolerating you. So you can have the opportunity of speaking the truth. So we can find a way to get you back to your feet. Mother, why are you still not saying anything when you're being connected to all the evil? Because I've written about her is evil. She is evil. And the evil has caught up with her. 
the king has a reason for accepting you because you are God. Even though he knows you are not from his loins, my advice is that you keep being good. The gods are with you. Yes. Mba is down. But it's likely he will not survive. So, speak up. Say the truth and salvage yourself. Speak! Listen to me. This Ogar sickness is no longer ordinary. Oh, why did you say so? I've made inquiries. I was told of a place called Obodife in Akama. Obodife? Akama community. The same community where his friend Chifumba is from. I don't know about him. But I was told that that place is very sacred. If Oga is taken there, he will be able to walk again. I wonder why he hasn't mentioned that to me. I don't know. But that he is from there has made it a lot easier. Comfort him. Let's see if Oga can be cured and walk again. Yes. Mr. Amba told me that this place is well organized. I can't see any organization. You will not understand. Something I need to bring down for you. There. Yeah. You're right here. Victor. Um, Why are you actually thinking that it's something there for you to bring down for me? Mom, I don't seem to understand what you are trying to do. I'm just um. Okay, okay, tell us. Please, ma'am. Can I just calm, go? Calm down. Your husband might look for me. I just I have to go back to my duty post. See, I see. I understand you very well. All right, ma'am. Paul, please. Mm -hmm. I need you to do me this one favor. Please. Okay, ma'am. Um, My husband doesn't satisfy me on bed. I promise to give you anything you want in this life. I promise, please. Come on. Madam. Please. Thank you.
You? Are you now a king? By the verdict of the gods. Eze, Oyelin Kalu of Akama Kingdom, the custodian of the sacred Obodi Fair. Out of the white! Please, help me. Help my husband. Look at him. My husband is dying slowly. Please. I was told you can heal him. We have done everything, but nothing worked. Please, help us. Please. Do the right thing. And healing will come to your husband. Okay. What do you have me do? What do you want me to do? Tell me and I will do it. You will have to go. Tell the world what you did to me. Tell them how you lied against me. Else, the healing that you seek will turn into sorrow. For you are filth and you are not worthy to come here. Go, purify yourself first, and then make sure you tell the story on three national dailies. Tell them what you did to me on three national dailies. Tell them how you conspired against me. Tell them how you treated me. Tell them how you lied against me. Tell them how you forced your husband to fire me. I had it all to myself. Had everything it takes to come out, to speak. But I did not. Because I wanted to save your marriage. Now, the reverse will be the case. Please. Please. Forgive me. Please. I am sorry for everything I did to you. Please. Because of him, forgive me. I am very sorry for everything I did to you. Please. Save me from this shame. Please. If you do not yield to the voice of the custodian of the sacred of Bodifa in three AK days, your husband here will be healed and double of his plague will befall you. Something that is waiting my wife up and I don't know about it. Oh, come on. So, what is it? Is it that the money I gave to you is not enough? Do you want some more? No, no. Far from that. So what's the problem? It's about your personal assistant. About my personal assistant? But what about it? Honey. Have you noticed? Noticed about what? Honey, you mean you've not noticed the way he looks at me whenever we are together? He looks at me in a way that is so discomforting. I fear that one day he will rape me. Oh, no, no, no. He will dare no such thing. Is he insane? That's disrespectful. Oh, well, not tomorrow. I will try to question him tomorrow, okay? I'll make sure that that happens. Honey! Did I hear you say caution? Honey, caution him in something as big as this? Excuse me. Isn't that the right thing to do? Especially, you know, 
someone like him who has been faithful and loyal to me. I know him to know that the young man is well disciplined. Oh, I see. The young man is well disciplined. And your wife is a liar. They take me for granted, and you don't say me would be on me. I'm not a lame person. Take me for granted. Why that so-called chief? They take on me for granted. On me? Listen. You can't go meet them and talk to them because if me on me visit them, you no go like my visit. On me? I am struggling so hard to understand why you have refused to understand this. Oh, this thing they vest me. Why they understand waiting? When money they involve? Alandala, you they vest me, say, you don't know how on me take love money. Guy, now that's the job I do for this man. Mm -hmm. And you know, say for this street like this, now that dirty work, I say they settle my paroles. Now the dirty job me say they do they survive for this area. Why why they do like say you don't know me again now? Oh no man. Person what would they talk about now? I don't already caras. So me I see the reason. What do you want to do with that kind of person? Which should be say you don't caras? No. Before you call me, webby, you don't see other babes calling for the walk. I mean you don't know say you go caras before you call me for the walk. See eh? See oh no man. The thing be say, chief got negatively involved with the deities of his town. They have brought him down. Chief na nyusi mamani na nyusi na bed. You understand? So I called you here now for you, for us to forget about that money. You understand? You mean this thing where they talk? Uh -uh. I don't, I don't, I don't lie for you before. I they yearn for you like this now so that we can forget about that money because the person who they talk about now don't already collapse. You know, say we in our street, we be and we operate like mafia. We know they involve our hand with anybody. Where we say the gods don't already put hand for him, buddy. You understand? If you want to put your hand on the man, if we put your hand, but me, we be Nsala Alandala. I know go put my hand. So the choice is yours. You the go front. You can find my way, guys. On the man? You know the go front? Hello, man. I have another maga. Oh, my God, chief. The girl said, We're going to go, chief. I heard about your miscarriage. So, I thought it's wise to come and check up on you. As an old friend, even though he never gave me a chance to prove anything. Philip, you have really done so well. I mean, you've done everything possible to show me how much you love me. I was just too naive to have seen what was very glaring to me. But I think we are not destined to be together. Why would you say that? You remember you were already pregnant when I fell in love with you? I mean, I lost it. The pregnancy is gone and I'm ready for us now. We can do it together. Why are you not saying anything? I am sorry, Steph. I am already with someone else. Nothing can work between us. The greatest of them all. Udogu. 
Thank you very much. Yeah. You know, I said that you come and see you. It's been long I I visited you last. Because it does not make any sense that we are living in the Seba Akama and we hardly make our time to visit one another. I just said I must come and see you today. Yeah. Eh? You have done well. <laughs> but the truth of the matter is that the past few months have been very hectic for all of us. I understand. Yeah, but we thank God that uh, everything is in order now. I know. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Um, cola is here. Yeah, yeah. 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 Thank you for the cola. You know what that means? The responsibility of breaking the cola note is actually on the person who presented it. I said, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. What? How can you of this kingdom be here and I will be breaking cola, praying over it? No, 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 no. She knows you don't even go there. I am the know who, yes, by the verdict of the gods. Because if the gods had said no, I wouldn't have become the know. Hey, but you are the father of the king of Akama, the father of the co student of Obodi Fair. <laughs> so there is no way you will be seated and I'm breaking. My, my political position as the know who is very insignific insignificant. We are a man like you. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. You got me on this one. You know it, but I just the truth. No problem. Break it for us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in my house. Obuefiaki Igwe. Eza alo se. Nezu do of Akama. Odogu. You will remain the greatest. Oh no, was a sick uncle. You are going to remain the greatest amongst your mates. No. No. But what am I? I'm not there. Why are you attempting to stand on an honor that does not belong to you? I don't understand. Uh, uh, who is it? Uh, he, uh, he presented me cola in his house and I asked him to break it. That's what he was about to do before you came in. Who told you that you can permanently deny or hide it from all? I don't understand. What does he say? What is... I don't understand. Who is his father? Who? I know there you lost your young son the very day you lost your young wife. On your way back to Akama Kingdom, through the hills of Obago, you met a dying woman who pleaded with you to take her son. Of course you did. That woman died before you. And you went home with her son. Is it not that son of that woman that you brought home and named Vitalis? Hey! You have never mentioned this to anybody. Is you? I know that you mourned your wife, your late young wife, but you never mourned your son because you believed you have gotten a replacement. You came home with a woman's son and presented it to your people that he is your son. Is, it, is this true? I lost my wife and my son. I cried to the gods. I cannot argue with the gods. What you are saying is the truth. But I did what I did because I believe the gods gave me that son to console me. I saw that son as my own son. <laughs> you thought the gods have favored you. Of course, the gods favored you. But you never thought about it. That the gods will never, never allow you to name a king over his own father. Hi! You know, I, I thought of this. I was pondering over this, but I was not able to figure out a way to say it. Hi! It's Alose. 
who then is this young man that you have already named King Inakama? Who is he? Oh no, it was a sick uncle. That woman was a woman of full bago. She was a mistress to the king. Our king? The child she gave to you came from the lines of the king. Hey! Abomination. Yes, hello, sir. Hello. Right now. How is this possible? Yes, hello, sir. If what you are saying is the truth, that this young man you have already named the king came from the loins of the king, then an abomination is staring us in the face because he is already married to the princess. You really have to calm down, okay? How can you tell me to calm down? That the man that has been confirmed the king is... The man I am married to is my brother. Don't you understand? See, more reason I'm asking you to calm down. Relax. There must be a way around this. The only way around this is to buy a ticket and get out of this country. That is the only way. So where is the royalty in you if you were chicken out in the face of complexities? It's just been confirmed this morning that I am pregnant. What? Now you see my fears? The man that was confirmed the king, someone I got married to, is my brother! And I am pregnant for him! Are your voice? My cousin, please. Sorry to interrupt you. There is this man outside the palace. Which man are you talking about? A man who is claiming to be your father. Excuse me. Which man are you talking about? Outside, like in this palace. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. How are you? Good afternoon, sir. What is this thing that we needed to hear? Yes, as a matter of fact, I kept quiet all these years because I know that eventually a day like this must come. Yeah? And I'm here now because I know that if I don't come here today, something might happen to any of my daughters, and I don't want that to happen. I don't want that to happen at all. So, sorry, sir. When you say any of your daughters, who do you speak of? Both of you are my daughters. Yes. Listen, the king is not your father. Your mother is alive and uh, she can speak the truth if she wants to. If she had decided to Open up. She will tell you the truth. This is the confession you would have made long ago to free yourself. This man here, Mr. Bernard Ibezim of Uru Nebo, was a boyfriend before you got married to the king. As a matter of fact, he fathered Unyinye. And he later went back to him and became pregnant of a zongere. Can you deny that? Yes, she is indeed a woman, a woman with a heart of stone. Go see your man. 
Haven't I tried? Haven't I? Do you expect me to sit down here and not show a vegetable man? He told you what to do. You help me get back on my feet. Why will you not do that? Are you serious about this? Do you know what he's asking me to do? Make mockery of myself on three national dailies. Telling them what I did in my bedroom. <laughs> Enough. I cannot do that. Excuse me. If you do not yield to the voice of the custodian of the sacred of Bodifa in three AK days, your husband here will be healed and double of his plague will befall you. She murdered a man that gave her nothing but love. She murdered peace from then. She has never had peace from that moment. And she must not be buried anywhere around the palace. But she must be taken to bury somewhere in a abandoned necropolis by ordinary people. And buried immediately and forgotten immediately. Never to be mourned. Never to be mourned. Never to be mourned. Never to be mourned. No cannon should be fired in the name of sending her spirit to the world. Beyond. Beijing, I was never expecting this. Absolutely. Unexpected. Absolutely unexpected. Who the cup of it making where I'm This is the puzzle of the gods. This is the rest of the spirit. Who is the chosen one? You cannot buy it with money. Oh, Ogunamba. Ogunamba. Everybody wanted a test of power. Oh, Ogunamba. Achunu Anike. Who the cup of it making where I'm going? 